I just said we are pregnant our baby wow <laughs> wow I, 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 I never expected that I know when did you find out just today baby are you happy or what <laughs> oh. of course I'm happy <laughs> I mean this is it right what we've always wanted yes baby finally we get to be parents <laughs> so, now let's hear that gloomy news of yours and see if this doesn't overshadow it. Yeah, what was it? Nah. Nah, it was nothing. I'd, uh, I'd rather bask in the euphoria of this great news. Come here, sweetie. Mm -hmm. oh, Frank, I'm so happy. Everything worked out in the end. Yeah. You're such a great and wonderful woman. Thank you. Thank you for this great news. So how far gone are you? Um, I, I don't know. I'll do a proper test tomorrow. Mama. Kid. <clears throat> how are you? Fine, are you? Ah. Mama, why are you standing at the door? You're not going to let us. I brought Dora to see your papa. Mbam. Mbam by your mom. Ah. Let us welcome her into our family. Is it going to? Is it going to welcome? Let us welcome who? Our new wife. Wife to be. Welcome who? Wife to be. Nguma. Welcome wife to be. Yeah. Who is she? Eh? Our wife who, to be. Who is she? Come. So you stand there. Eh? Well, as if there is nothing disturbing. You stand well comfortably. No shame, no guilt. Huh? Come, confess. Bia. Who is your mother? In fact, where are you from? Mama, please take it easy eh? with it. Chidi, Where are you from? Eh? Mama, no, now don't do that, Mama. You will know every detail you want to know. You will know everything. I brought her here as my second wife, Mama, not just anyone. Uh, Remember? Uh, she's the one that's pregnant, too. She's the pregnant wife. I know that we the pregnant. Is she to be the first to be pregnant? Eh, uh, Chidi, it's okay. It's okay we've had you. Hmm? See, let us think about this matter very well because of your mother. Inugu? Uh -huh. See, I will talk to my brother, your father. I will talk to him. Let everyone be in consent. Because your father's consent is very important to your union. 
Inugu? Uh -huh. Mama, please, I, I didn't mean to cause any problem in your family. Please accept me as your child because I love Chidi. <laughs> love one thing. Uh, you love Chidi. And you don't want to create a problem. But you succeeded in separating husband and wife. Let me tell you something. If you think God is not watching, you lie. God is watching you. I have only one daughter in law. She's the one I recognize. And you, you are a disgrace. You are a disgrace. Oh no, Gary, ne maybe on. Chidi, your uncle has said it. You will have to come back and hear what he's going to say with your father on this matter. Now, my final statement I have said, I am not part of this and I will not be part of it. Uh, right? Uh, 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 Mama, Mama, you're shutting me out in the house. Uh, uh, <laughs> Chidi, Chidi. Dora, it's okay. It will be well, don't worry. See. Nothing good comes easy, you know that. You know that. Don't worry. Uh, Chidi, see, I, I'm happy for you. You are going to become a father very soon. Thank you, Uncle. Hmm. God bless you. You are welcome. Sorry, oh, my little Uncle, yeah. please, let me, let me find something for you. Ah. Hmm? Yes. Ah, but this is too much, now. Nah? Uncle, please, please, just manage it. Okay. okay. Thank you. Hey! Hi, Kemi. Hi! Good to see you. Oh, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you so much for seeing me. Please, sit. Sit. Alright. <sighs> it's been a long time. Uh, you sounded very worried over the phone. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, everything is part of my manners. How are you? How's your family, your husband, your kids? How many do you have now? Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> well, Obi traveled on a business trip, okay. leaving me to deal with two boys. Two boys? Wow, they must be really adorable. Do you have <laughs> photos of them anywhere? Oh, sure. I take my baby's pictures everywhere I go. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Mm. This is Simon. Is the first. Ooh. Very upright and focused kid. Oh. <sighs> and this is Michael. He's a handful. <laughs> Too much energy. Oh. I can imagine. Uh, raising boys is more difficult than raising girls. Yes, so. How about you? How many do you guys have now? None. For now, um, we've been working on some other stuff. C can I offer you a glass of water? Anything? Oh, never mind. I rushed in from work. We'll be headed back soon. <laughs> I guess you're not ready for kids yet. No rush, I guess. Hmm. But I must warn. Once you start, finish off quickly so as to concentrate on taking care of them. <laughs> Thank you, Kemi. Um, I wanted to ask you something, uh, and I guess that's the main reason why I invited you over. Okay. Remember all those years ago when I was in medical school in Boston and you called me and told me you were pregnant for me? I just wanted to find out if that was real, if that was, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know what happened because all, all I had to go with was your word. So. I just want to know what exactly happened. Please. <laughs> Girls were doing it back then to extort money from their boyfriend. <sighs> and I needed some money badly at that time. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I understand.
Frank, is everything okay? Yeah. Everything is great. Mama! <laughs> well, so, uh, I wasn't expecting you. Just go without seeing you. Huh? How are you now? How is Papa doing? You tell my daughter. We are fine. <laughs> Thank, huh? God. Thank God, Mama. How, are you and how is your husband? Uh, Mama, I don't know. And frankly, I don't care. No. You tell my daughter, you have to care. Huh? You have to care. He's your husband. So. To care. Mama, mm -hmm. how do I care about a man who does not care for me? He doesn't stay home these days. He comes in and goes without saying a word. He doesn't even bother whether I'm fine or not. He doesn't eat when I cook. As far as I'm concerned, Mama, I don't have a husband. Mbam, Mbam, don't say that. I know what you're going through. Huh? I would like to say something to you. And that is, you should keep trusting God, pray, and look up to Him. He will see you through. Be strong and be calm. Please, I would like you to do me a favor. And that is, keep loving Him. Huh? Hmm? Only. How do you want me to be kind to a man who is so unkind to me? My daughter, speak to your mother. She will tell you the same thing I'm telling you. Marriage is a learning process. A difficult institution. One participant never stops learning. My dear, marriage is for better, for worse. And when the worst situation comes, you have to handle it with a kind heart. Rita, my dear, hmm? love Chid, regardless of his shortcomings. Pray for him tirelessly. Ask God to open his eyes to see the evil he's into. Only. Hmm? I don't know. I don't know if I can pray. I honestly don't think I have the will to do it. Yeah. I'll pray for you and pray for my son. I know there's something not right. Don't worry, now. Hold me. Mm? Thank you, Mama. Oh, Mali <laughs> Hey! Mama! Oh. Uh -huh. Wow, Frank. So you never missed me all this while, and here I am thinking you missed me. Huh? Just um, it is a very important question. Please. Frank, you know we were so cool together. We were a fantastic match. I mean... So you were never pregnant for me? No, I was never pregnant. I mean, I just made up all the stories about taking pills instead of a surgical procedure. Why are you bothered after all these years? It's nothing. Never mind. Anyway, Frank, you know, I'm still very open to a relationship with you and um, anything can still happen between the both of us. I don't know. Just on. I am a married man. Hmm? Oh, Thank really? You very much. Oh, really? So that's why you're going around looking for all the babies you may have had in the past, yeah? All the away matches you must have played, Frank. Why are you bothered anyway? Why don't you just throw away your rotten wife? I mean, you could just take up a fresh milk like me. I'll give you all the babies in the world that you want. Chisum, that would be all. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Can I have my transport money now? 5,000 Naira.
sorry, three and four is ten thousand naira. Hey Rita, what's up? Rita, that's why you call me now, eh? <laughs> so much change in such a short time. It's okay. See, you came home back early. It's a welcome change. Rita, we have to talk. What's there to talk about? We have nothing in common anymore. Okay, Rita, there's a lot to talk about. Can you just sit down so I say to you what I want to say to you, please? Okay. Carry on. A woman is pregnant for me and... Oh wow, Chidi! <laughs> Congrats! You must feel like such a complete man now, yeah? Oh, and thank you for sharing that information with me. Finally, you find me important enough to know what's going on in your life. Oh, well, I have some things to do. I'll get back to you later. Rita, please go now. Rita, try to understand. I know you're upset at me. I'm sorry. What are you sorry about? Sorry for what exactly? For sleeping with her. For sleeping with her? For indulging in your obsession. Ha! <laughs> Chidi. Well, you did what you had to do and guess what? It paid off! Peter, I'm sorry. I know you're upset. Upset! Upset, Chidi! Upset doesn't even begin to compare to how I feel now. I am beyond living. Goodness! I look at you and I see that you don't even grab the magnitude of what you've done. Ha! <sighs> Chidi. I will be civil. I promise you. Oh, please, stay out of my way. Rita. Rita, wait! Calm down, calm down. Please, please. Please, Rita. Please. I'm going to be a father soon. I want to bring more than child to the house. I'm telling you because you are my first wife. Oh, I see. Mr. Macho. So now you're considering a second wife, yeah? So this is what it was all about. This is the end, right? This is the reason for the late night calls, the sneaking around, all the lies? Gee, I kind of expected more from you though. But I'm sorry to disappoint you. I don't give a damn. I have my life to live. You have your life to live. So thank you. Congratulations on how your life turned out, Chidi. But please, please, I beg you. When she moves into this house, make sure she uses one of the other rooms. Because if I see her in this room, ha, Chidi, I will burn this house down while you're sleeping. Get out! Please, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Honestly, I really wish she was the one pregnant. I still love Rita to death. I really, really wish she was the one pregnant. But. Turns out I never impregnated any of those girls. They all lied. I'm sorry, Frank. It's unlikely you impregnated your wife either. I'm sorry. Tola, what am I going to do? This, this situation is, is so twisted. Could it be that my wife lied to me? Are you sure you don't want to do another test on me? There's no need for all that. It's not necessary. So what's going to happen now? Are you, are you going to, should I call her in? Do you want to have a talk with her? Can you, can you determine when exactly she, she became pregnant? You act like you're not a doctor, Frank. Or don't you know one or two things about gynecology? Listen, Frank. This matter here is way beyond me, please. This day would ever come. Could my wife be cheating on me? Calm down. Don't jump into conclusion like that. What is it with you, Tola? Eh? So if, 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 if I didn't get my wife pregnant, then who did? Who did? Hi, Hello, mommy. Hello, Rita. Um, you don't sound well. 
I'm not well, mommy. I can't take it anymore. I can't. Oh, my goodness. Rita, calm down and talk to me. <sighs> mommy, I'm coming back home tomorrow. You said I should wait to hear from you before taking a decision. Well, my husband has finally said the truth. I have to get out of here. Or else I'll kill someone. To fear what? Ah, Rita, since when did you become a killer, my child? Oh, you want to kill yourself because of some other woman? Hmm. You will be happily missed. And so you should not give that other woman that satisfaction. Hey, Rita. Bikonu, stop thinking and saying things like this before you get into trouble. Mommy, with trouble. What can be more worse than this whole madness? Oh, Rita, I wish I can tell you something different, but I can't. I understand your pain. Your father also is pained, but he's taking it like a man. Hey, please, my daughter. Promise me you won't go around threatening anyone because I don't want problem for you. Uh -huh. By the way, have you called Pastor's wife? Yes, I did. Uh -huh. What did she say? She, she was very disappointed to hear what I had to say. But she said I shouldn't leave my husband's house for anyone else. She said now is the time to pray more. She said Satan is a liar. And that he will be defeated in the end. Amen and amen. I stand with her in faith. And in agreement with her, I seal it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, it is well with you, my child. It will be well with you. I am also praying for you. Inugo? Okay, mama. Mm -hmm. Okay, stay well, na? Mommy loves you. Don't forget, na? <laughs> okay. Okay. Piggy, hmm. you're going to become as big as a deep freezer if you keep this up. Leave her now. Ah. Now she's sabi. As if when your hunger comes, you can suppress it. <laughs> I was worse than you now. Don't you remember how much weight I gained? <laughs> Looking like you were carrying triplets. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Frank must be very excited. How's he taking it? No, that's the thing. He's calm. Surprisingly, too calm. Mm, they're clueless in the first few months. He'll, he'll get the hang of it soon enough. But he's not even curious. He's just relaxed, almost listless. And that's very surprising considering how much he wanted this. Maybe it's work? Maybe. You should talk to him. I will. Oh, I bet no will forget that one, Jerry. Hey, madam. What of Philip now? How are you guys doing? <laughs> so, she brought him to church. What? <laughs> I <know>. Church? <laughs> you! Considering the fact that she never goes to church. What is she <laughs> talking about? <laughs> I lie. I always go to church. Right, Ijoma? No, you don't. Well, who cares? Jesus is happy with you. <laughs> He's going to be very proud of me, right? Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> Speaking of Philip, mm. did anything happen between both of you? I'm sorry, Mr. Direct. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Why, why are you asking out of the blue? Did, did he say something? What? Uh, well, he didn't say anything concrete. But um, I asked about you from him when he returned. And um, he sort of brushed off the topic. I didn't even hear what he said clearly. And it's quite unlike Philip. I mean, who goes on and on about the scenes, the takes, and how you both have synergy and how you both bring it like magic. Me, Seth, I can't confuse you.
Peace be unto this house. And unto you, Pastor. Unto you, sir. Welcome, everybody. Thank you. Let me get some drinks now. You know, while we just. No, we are fine. Uh, we will be quick. Uh, okay, now, can everybody just please sit? Thank you. Let's say a word of prayer before we sit. Uh, okay. Almighty and everlasting Father, we thank you for this gathering, O oh Lord. We know that you have not brought us here for the wrong reasons, nor have we come here by mistake. Father, we know you would send your Holy Spirit to come and take control of the utterances we will render here, and every word that shall proceed out of our mouth to be guided by the Holy Spirit. Our Father, we thank you for your grace, O Lord, and for the love of Christ which is instilled in our hearts. And the peace of the Lord which surpasses all human understanding. And for the love of God that flows through the veins of these ones that you have brought together in holy matrimony, O God. Father, you said in your word that whatsoever you have joined together, let no man put asunder. It is your word I have come to remind you today, O oh God, that you would watch over this word to perform it. Amen. That whatsoever you have joined together, let no man, no woman, no boy, no girl, put asunder the marriage of brother Chidi and his wife Rita. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Lord, I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire on the river. Father, to scatter and destroy, nullify every process of darkness that is hovering around this environment, manipulating this marriage. I command them to scatter in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Break and scatter. Break and scatter. Amen. Break and Amen. scatter. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Yes. yes, we thank you. We give you praise. Yes, oh, Lord, for answered prayers. Father, we give you praise, we give you glory. Amen. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Thank yes, you, thank you. Thank In you. Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Papa, thank you guys once again for coming. Let me get a drink now, please. Let me get drinks for you. No, Papa, I see it's that big. We are fine. Thank you. Okay, now, can you guys please sit, I beg, everybody. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay, oh, I mean, I hope all is well, Pastor, because this type of visit doesn't happen very often. You are correct, Brother Chidi. But it is not uncommon for us to pay our members a visit. We like to know what our family members are doing. Well, as you can see, we're all doing well. <laughs> Thank you very much for stopping by. For Papa. Whether people admit it or not, I have to say, I know the reason why you people have come here is to confirm if what my wife has told you is true. Uh -huh. So let me just save you people distress and go straight to the point. That strange woman, as many people have called her, she's carrying my child and I will marry her. Oh, this is what I've been praying for. This is what I've always wanted. Why are they chastising me for it? Why? Pastor, isn't this what you have been praying for for me? Brother Chidi, come on. God's blessings don't usually come with sorrow. Mm -hmm. Everyone else isn't happy except you. Because this is not what is expected of a Christian. I'm happy. Yeah. Brother Chidi, yes, you have been praying, but you have not been patient with God. I feel really sad. I feel really sad for what you're putting your wife through. I feel so sad for the torture you're putting her through. Mama, this was not intentional. It just happened. Mm. I didn't plan it. It just happened. Mm. I never intended for this thing to happen, Pastor. But it Believe has happened. Me. Mama. It has happened, that's all. Biko, don't punish my innocent child by bringing your girlfriend to the house. It will only be stirring more trouble among them. The deed has been done. Go and get another house and put her instead. 
I don't want my daughter to die of worry before me, her mother. Please, be cool. Sister Rita, please be strong. There is nothing we can do as women. Yes. But continue to look up to God, yes, who is the author and finisher of your faith. We will not stop praying until mm -hmm. God makes a way where there seems to be no way. Yes. Because He works in ways no one can see or even predict. Mm -hmm. Be not afraid, my daughter. Be bold and be strong. As for you, Chidi, I implore you to seek the Lord's face and ask him for forgiveness. Okay. For defiling your marriage and laying with another woman. Okay. And leaving your wife in so much pain. Okay. So be wise and wake up from your slumber. Before you lose those who care about you genuinely. That is all I will say of this matter now. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Mama, thanks so much for coming. Most especially for the prayers. Appreciate it. Thank you. It is well, my daughter. Amen. Thank you. We'll take our leave now. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you. Mama. Okay. Drive safely. Papa. And if you see it, it is so beautiful. I can't get over it. Yeah, okay. I'll talk to you later. Baby, baby, have you seen the nursery? Oh my God, the painter did such a fabulous job. He painted it yellow. And I hear that's a good color, whether the baby is male or female. And I'm going to buy the baby monitor tomorrow. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to go with me for the labor exercises on Saturday. It's going to be really awesome. You know, other couples will be there. And, yes? Whose baby is this you're carrying? What? I said, whose baby is this you're carrying? What kind of question is that? <laughs> wow. So you're going to stand there and act like you don't know what I'm talking about? What are you talking about? Ijoma. I'm going to ask you one last time. Whose baby are you carrying? Frank, what's going on? Frank, I... Frank. Email out. Hello. Uh, I want to say a very big thank you to our in-laws uh, for giving us audience to say why we have come. Hmm. It is with great joy that we, 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 we propose our interest to unionize uh, Chidi Maison and Dora, your daughter. You are welcome. Uh, uh, our daughter broke the news to us some days ago and insisted that we get ready for this very important meeting. Well, regarding the union of the two, as far as I'm concerned, they are already united mm. because they are already expecting. Since we are not consulted before the union of private organs took place, I do not see any reason why you need us now. Well, we will postpone all traditional marital rights to such a time as when the coast is clear. Mm -hmm. That is when the baby is born. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, uh, my in-laws, I don't understand. Are you saying that you will not partake in this right? Yes, I will not until the baby is born. 
They can continue from where they stopped. <clears throat> okay. I didn't expect uh, such a free and easy pass, but I will take that as acceptance. But uh, Papa and Mama, I want to assure you guys that Dora will be well taken care of. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it okay? Of course. That is what we want for our children. Mm. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Sir, please. Just please accept this small token for me. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> please, hmm? you can keep your money to yourself. We do not need any type of bribe to make us change our decisions. Dora, when the baby is born, you may come back to see the elders. But for now, they said they have decided that they will not give their blessings to a wayward daughter. Ah, uh -huh. show you. Mommy, hmm. what are you saying to me now, eh? What have I done to deserve this? Will I be the first woman to be pregnant outside wedlock? If I say I'm happy about the way you have dragged us into your crooked life, I'll be lying. Hmm. I did not know you would get to this stage. Getting pregnant for a man just because you want to be a second wife. Ah. Indeed, the world would have changed. Hmm. And I see that you have foolishly changed negatively with it. I'm ashamed of you! Bami, mommy, <laughs> if you like, go support. Don't support. Hmm? It does not change anything. In fact, it is late. I will be under a man's roof, and my baby will have somebody to call daddy. Hmm? <laughs> it is not uh, whether uh, I am first or second or third wife. Eh? That is not what matters. Hmm? My baby will be raised in a proper family, like any other child. Shut up, I am ashamed of you, Dora. Shame on you. Oh. You're a disgrace. Mister? Be you born me, mommy. Mister? <laughs> did you see that? Did, did you see the attitude of the person you intend to marry? Is this the person you're, you're, you're planning to replace your, your wife with this one, hmm. my dear, use your brain oh, because you can see for yourself. Hmm. Ma, I'm sorry she talked to you in that manner, but you must understand she's angry. Hmm? We did not expect our visit to end up like this. I will leave here with a positive feeling, you know, knowing that you have given me your consent to take your daughter home. Hmm. We will come back to do the right thing when the baby is born. Mm. Oh, is said. Okay. oh, is okay. My apologies, sincerely, for putting your daughter in the family way. It was a costly mistake. But I'm hopeful that, you know, you'll find a way to forgive us after we decide to do the right thing by formalizing it. We have heard. Go well. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you, Papa Dora. Hey, but... Mama Dora, be cool. Eh? Why don't you please accept this small gift from us? Eh? Please, Mama. Thank you. But we will not accept. Ah. Well, if you insist. Yes, we insist. Go well. For the love of God! going on? What have I done to you? Why aren't you talking to me? Are you going to tell me who you've been sleeping with? Who gave you this? Frank, have you gone mad? What are you saying to me right now? Who the hell are you? I don't even know who you are. How can you just stand there and accuse me of such filth without any proof? Proof? Yes! You want proof? Yes! Okay, how about this for proof? Award-winning actress, 
I went to see Dr. Tola after you told me that you've gone off the coil. And she told me there was something wrong with me and I could not get you pregnant. Except through IVF or some other very extensive procedure. How about that for some proof, you cheating whore? When? What? What? You're... I mean... The, Two the... months ago. And you didn't tell me? What? Oh, when were you planning to tell me? Were you ever even going to tell me? And when were you planning to tell me, Ijoma, about this? What, 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 20 years down the line? When there is something wrong with my child and I find out that I'm not a match with him or her? Now you have a taste of what you have done to me. You see what you've done, Ijoma? Cold. So damn cold. But shopping for a baby can be a tedious job. Yeah. My feet hurt. Your feet how? Oh no. Why is your feet wait, wait, wait. <laughs> let me massage you now. Wait. Wait, how? let me grab this one for my back. Yeah. Oh, thanks, darling. <laughs> You're so sweet. What can I ever do to repay all this kindness, eh? Dora, please. Please do not do anything for me. I beg. Just not show my baby. <laughs> Please. You don't know what this pregnancy means to me. You have certified me, Chidi, a man. Dora, I'm the happiest man on this planet right now. I know, right? <gasps> we complement each other. Yeah? So well. Really? <laughs> <laughs> my baby. Mm. <laughs> See. Where you? I need to go and rest. Uh, wait, 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 wait now. I'm a bit dizzy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Please, rest here, babe. Don't be stressing my son now. Babe, no. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. You and this your son, eh? Um, wait, how do you know we're having a male child? Please. That's how you were insisting on buying male things. You were just buying everything you saw at the shop. <laughs> this one, of course, anything for my son. God don't bless me. Hey, Baba God, no. <laughs> I'm telling you, the best I can do right now is to give him the best. Mm. Yes, no. And yes, sir. what about me? Mm? The mother, <laughs> your wife. Mm? We may. You got me jealous when we were shopping because you were not thinking about me. She <laughs> no. Mm. no. Why are you talking like that now? But it's true. <laughs> One would have thought uh, you would spoil me silly with things like gold, clothes, e even a car. Like you said, Chidi, I changed your story. You are smiling again. True. Uh -huh. You need to show appreciation constantly, Seth. You can't just keep treating me like you do your other wife. After all, I'm more fruitful than she is. So... You give me anything I want, eh, 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 Listen, Dora. See, I'll give you anything you want. Do not call her names, please. Please. I will marry you. You are the mother of my son, yes. However, do not be singing her infertility in my ear every five minutes. I know. Okay. Huh? Sorry. Before you go and chop my head, because of a, a dry woman. Okay, I'm gonna go get the rest of the stuff in the car. For me, please talk to me. Did Philip tell you anything about me? Did he say something? No, nothing. 
What's going on? Ichoma, is there anything I should know? I had an affair with my director when we were on location shooting. And Philip walked in on us when we were kissing. Now Frank has been acting really strange, asking me whose baby this is. And I don't know, I think he must have heard something. Wow. He didn't say anything like that to me. And he's not friends with anyone close to us, so... Maybe Frank may have heard from someone else. But, but you said Philip was acting really strange when you asked him about me. Yeah, but I don't think he's so mean as to going to tell your husband. Have they met before? I mean, he only dropped me off at yours that one time. And um, that was just it. But you safe, Ijoma. Frank is a husband and a half. I know. So how did you go and mess this beautiful thing up? I really messed up for me. I really messed up. I think this baby is in Frank's. What am I going to do? Um, Tell me what am I going to do? It's okay. It's all right. Okay. I'm not judging here. It's just that it's a bit shocking. I just hope that everything turns out all right. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm, I am now. Hmm. Ah, Rita, you're home? Oh, no. I'm okay. We're just chilling now. Come on, join us. Eh? Join us or what now, Chief? Eh? Is that a joke or what? Hmm. Chidi. <laughs> so this is all you do with your time now, Abby? Sprawling on the couch 24 hours. You don't go to work anymore. Are you the one now pregnant? And your concubine too has stopped working just because she's pregnant. If I remember correctly, I know women who work till their delivery time. Honey, I can decide never to go to work again. You see this child growing inside of me. I have to nurture it. And we all know how tedious bank work is. So, keep your feet occupied and go upstairs. Rita, who says I don't go to work? Tell her. Eh? I don't blame you, eh? I blame myself for trying to be nice to you. John has been worried about you missing work and he's been trying to reach you but you're not picking up your calls. Chidi, be wise. Because if you lose what you have, somebody here will not waste time here running along. I said stop gnashing your teeth and move along. You're disturbing our peace. How does this even concern you? Ask me. I have everything under control. I am the man of this house. Hmm. Do you understand? Let me be now. My darling Chidi, I need a back massage. Hmm? Can we go to the room? Or better still, we start here and end up in the room. Maybe I have no need for all that now, please. I don't want any sin here. Okay, join me. I can't wait anymore. Chidi, God will punish you. God will judge you for doing this to me. For causing me so much. What did I do to deserve this kind of treatment? You cheated on me with your prostitute. Got her pregnant and even brought her into our own home. And yet you rub it in my face as if I'm to blame. Chidi, I hope it's not too late by the time you come to your senses and realize that someone planned this all along. Planned? How? And who are you calling me prostitute, self? Eh? You know I don't take such things lightly, eh? Don't you ever dare speak about my woman like that. Darling, please. Hmm? Leave her. Take care. You know she'll formulate any lie to break us. But, too bad, because we know her type. Let's go upstairs, I beg. Help me with my shoe. Nonsense. 
So, Ijama told me this thing between her and your director. What? I love and respect your ability to stay out of other people's businesses, but you really need to talk to me. At least clear your head. <laughs> Is that why you feel I need to clear my head? It's across the bed, not mine. It's messy. Very messy. She told me it was a real affair. And I think Frank knows. She asked me if you told me about how you caught them making out on location. <laughs> it's not in my place to say anything. It's not my business. It's ours, like I said. This is very scary. I just wonder how he might have found out. How bad is it? Oh, very bad, love. Because from what she told me, that pregnancy might not be friends. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's deep. Yeah. <sighs> well, you can try talking to them when everything cools off, but honestly, I don't see what good that would do. I mean, man, if I was in his shoes, I would be very mad. <sighs> it's almost unforgivable. It will bring him down to his knees. Well, there's no harm in trying, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <sighs> Poor Frank. I just, I hate this. <sighs> I'll try to talk to him. But why do women cheat, though? Why? Honestly, I don't know. Frank is so, so good to her. I wonder what pushed her to the arms of that director. So many married actors do this, and I wonder why. I mean, if you want a man or woman so bad, take a break from set and go screw your husband or wife. Ah, I don't get it. No, right? Foul smell I perceive coming from the kitchen, eh? It's as if something is rotten. Oh, it's you. What are you cooking? It, it smells so awful. Perhaps it's the pregnancy hormones. It, uh, <laughs> your sense of smell is now more active. And you would know because? I would know because I've done my research. <laughs> Congratulations now. Mm? I wonder why you did not research how to get your body functioning properly enough at least to fertilize an egg. Dora, don't let me slap your face with this spoon. Don't push me. Try it now and you'll see that I am just as capable. Eh? You think it's because yesterday you were just running your mouth loose like tap and I did not say anything. Eh? Let me tell you, yesterday I was too tired to give you a piece of advice but today I have enough strength. Mm. And I will use it to my fullest because you don't deserve any respect from Oh, me. please, get out of my face. Look for someone else to show respect because I don't want any from you. You invaded my privacy and then you pranced around like you belong here. I beg you, stop sounding like a broken record. If Chidi had to choose between two of us, honey, you'll be well on your way to your parents' house. You called me a prostitute yesterday and I didn't say much to you. I am here to warn you. Mm. Remove your hand from my face. If you ever try it again, I'm here to warn you not to try it again because if you dare, you'll be surprised what I'll do to you. Oh, I'm sorry. I called you a prostitute. I'm sorry. What I actually meant to say was that you're a big prostitute. Get out of my sight. Go and do your worst. Rita, don't let me slap you. 
Count yourself lucky that I'm pregnant, if not I'd have beaten you black and blue. No, you whore. Count yourself lucky that you're pregnant, if not I would have beaten you so much that you would have been receiving treatment in the hospital for more than just a black face. I don't blame you. I blame my husband, Chidi, for putting me in this position to be insulted by you in my own home. Go on, idiot. Go on and keep prostituting yourself to him. You need it for as long as you're staying here. Rita, do not test my patience so I will destroy you. Oh, but that's what you're good at now. Destroy her. You destroy people, you destroy their homes. Both of you can now destroy each other together. Count me out, okay? Who do you think you are, eh? Talking to me like that. Hey! I have as much right, in fact, I have more rights than you in this house because of my baby. Yes, why are you still here? No, tell me, if not to chop my husband's money. Which husband? My husband, Which yes, husband? this is my ring, my hey. husband. Do you even have children, Seth? No, you do not. You don't even have any hope in sight, Seth. Ah. Yes, you do not. So tell me, yes, tell me, what are you doing here? Sure, barren woman. Ah. Hey. Hi, Rita. I hope all is well. Why the frowning? We need to talk. Okay, go on. Where's Dora? What kind of question is that? Am I her keeper? Rita, you live with a pregnant woman in this house and you can't make sure she's okay. Have you grown so angry now that you're beginning to show these evil tendencies? What's happened to you? You and your mistress happened to me, Chidi. Please, I know I'm the underdog here, but just listen to what I have to say. Dora! Dora! Are you okay? Chidi, please! Please, just listen to what I have to say. You need to talk some sense into that insane Dora of yours. She insulted me earlier today by saying that there's nothing keeping me in this house because I don't have a child. She even went as far as calling me barren. Chidi. Please, warn her. Warn her to stop. I want to have peace in my own home. Rita, but Dora will not just start throwing insults at you now. You must have triggered it. So you even trust her more than me? I'm only stating the obvious. She's pregnant, she's carrying my child. Do you know how long we've been looking for this? Ah. The least you could do is shower her with love, you know, show her care. For this precious gift she's giving to us. Can you even throw that in my face? Rita, listen, this woman is carrying my child. Pregnancy comes with different symptoms. She's just probably exhibiting one of the symptoms. Please bear with her now. <gasps> I'm sure if you're in her shoes, you'll understand. I see. You know what? There's no point talking to you. You don't even deserve me, Chidi. You sold our love out at the first chance you got. Thanks, Chidi. Thanks for betraying me. There's nothing left for me here. I might as well leave your house before I murder someone. Thanks again, Chidi. Let's have go. It is for our good. Hmm? You did the right thing, sweetie. You mean you've been listening to my conversation? Uh, yes, no. I wanted to be sure how well you defend me. And you surely did. I am very happy the intruder will leave us alone. Yeah? At least now, we can breathe some fresh air. Come on, Gigi. Cheer up. Yeah? You did the right thing. Why don't you go upstairs and uh, freshen up and I'll make you something to eat? Hmm? Look at me now. Hmm? Okay. Go 
Ne olmuş diyorsun? Too much. Too much for me. He knew I didn't tell me. Wow. That must have been how he found out about the affair. Mommy, I promise you, I've never ever seen him like that before. His eyes were so cold. I'm sure he hates me now. He won't talk to me. I don't know where he is. He used this key and he came here when I was around. And he took some things. I'm so mad at him for not telling me. What if I didn't have the affair? What if I hadn't gotten pregnant? What would have happened? <sighs> so you think he wouldn't have told you about it? Oh no. You would have found out eventually. <sighs> it's too heavy to keep to himself. Besides, Frank wouldn't. I'm sure he must have been trying to figure out the best way to tell you. You are right. The day I told him about the pregnancy, he came to me asking to talk to me, and he was so gloomy and he was fidgeting. So I was scared that he wanted to tell me about a child out of wedlock. I just blurted out the fact that I was pregnant, and he didn't show any excitement. Nothing. I noticed, oh, I noticed that I was concerned, but I made excuses for him. I told myself he needed more time to process it. He knew I was lying and he just played along. I have to be, I be deep shit. Mommy, I'm going to lose him. I'm going no. to lose him. You don't know that yet, Ichoma. Hey. You have to be strong, okay? You made a mistake. An unforgivable mistake it may seem. But guess what? Frank is a good man. Frank is a nice guy. He may just shock us all by, I mean, just putting this whole thing behind him. Oh, I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> oh, TV show. What options do you have, anyways? Be strong. Okay? Joma. Joma, this is not the right attitude. This is not the right attitude. Alright? It's going to be fine. I know it. It's going to be fine. I'm coming now. Uh, uh, Rita, what is it again? What happened? Mama, I've left him. Did he beat you? No. Not physically. But enough for me to leave. Am I going to let me in or not? I came all the way from Lagos to Ibadan to see you and you're interrogating me at the door. Ah, Rita, you know your father won't like this move of yours, right? Mama, whatever happens, let it happen. If Papa wants to kick me out, let him kick me out. But I can't stay there anymore. It's okay, my daughter. I know you've been through a lot. Thank you, Mama. <sighs> let Chidi stay with his angel of a concubine. They can have 100 children if they want. For me, I'm too good for someone to treat me like an outcast. It is well with you, my daughter. I want you to relax and forget about your problems for now. When your father comes back, we'll discuss it, okay? Okay, yes. Mama. Hi, but how do I even face Papa? I left this house after my wedding ceremony. I thought I found my Prince Charming. 
times. I want to fill the void inside me. But now I've come back in shape. In pain, Mama. Mama Chidi has killed something inside me. He has killed something. Oh, Mama. Ah, when will all this end? I need to build my life from scratch and build my confidence as a woman back. Get back on my feet. No, my daughter. <laughs> Don't give up entirely yet. You can't run away from your problems. I will advise you stay a few weeks, rest and get yourself back. Then, depending on how things turn out, you may go back and pick the pieces. You cannot run away from your friends because of a man. No, my dear. Please, my daughter, listen to your mother. I know you are hot, but please, don't make any permanent plans yet. Because we have a God that is all-knowing. One that asks when all hope is down. And I know my God. He will expose our enemies and restore our happiness. Hmm? Mama, I'm tired. Don't be my daughter. It is a fight to finish. And God will grant you victory. You are a winner, and a winner you will be. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me go and get something for you to eat, okay? Mm -hmm. Put your bag inside. Hmm. Ah! Auntie Martha! She's here! Ah! Queen! Oh my goodness, look at you! Oh my dear. At the end for Martha! <laughs> We've been expecting you! So nice to see you! Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Oh. Merci, Queen. Oh. Uh -uh. <laughs> you look like you're about to drop any second. I have changed, haven't I? Not so much, Shao. It's just the belly. <laughs> When I come, come, I have the hot okay, juice for you. Okay, okay, okay. Before you start juicing, just sit down and relax, okay? Let me make something for you, okay? Thank you, ma. Sit down. Oh, <laughs> See you, belly. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Oh my God, look at you. Oh, Ada, thank you for coming. You know I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't miss this for the world. <laughs> but man, see belly, sha. Can't get over the belly. Honey, the toilet is actually clean. Oh. Yeah? <clears throat> I hope you like the environment, huh? You know, it's a calming and soothing place. Peaceful and quiet, away from all the noise. What do you mean? Hmm? Don't you remember this place? Hmm? Sorry, it wasn't that long ago. You met me and my wife here. She was coming out of the bathroom while me and you were talking. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I think I remember now. The first time I met Rita, <laughs> I didn't think uh, I would have a very bad case of pregnancy-induced uh, memory loss. <laughs> have you placed our order yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said it would take 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Baby, you're going through a lot, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like, this is the first time ever I'm hearing about pregnancy-induced memory loss. <laughs> Sorry, eh? Mm. Sorry. And that is why you should not joke with me, I tell you. Men should uh, not play with their baby mamas, because conceiving and uh, carrying a child to term takes its toll on a, a woman's body, inside and out. I can only imagine. <laughs> oh. Please never forget that, huh? <laughs> Why do you have this worried look on your face all of a sudden? Really? <laughs> I, I, I think it's the baby. Nothing to worry about, yeah? Please. 
Why is the food taking so long now? In fact, Chidi, I, I think I, I, I'm, I'm not feeling too well. We should go home. Just like that? We should leave? What about the food? Honey, we can ask for them to deliver the food at home. Eh? I, I don't feel too good. I don't feel too good. Please, believe me. Baby, we just got here. Let's stay. Let's eat. Okay, you know what? I'll call a cab, eh? You just have fun. Dora, please, come on. The food is almost ready. Let's eat and then we can leave. Drop your bag, please. Em, this is so good. Your cooking is still so on point, exactly as I remember it. Thank uh, you. Be. <laughs> you know, Auntie Martha can cook for the world. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid her food so that I don't gain more weight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, darling. It's so good to have you here, Adena. And your folks? You're yeah, very well, thank you. She's been waiting over the moon, counting down for you to come. And I really missed her. Oh. But, ma'am, Queen, you don't look half bad with this to your pregnancy. You have that glow. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to stop this binge eating and I've been messing lately. Ew. Hmm. Ah, so that happens too. Hmm. And it's me that suffers it too. Hmm. Most of sorry. the time. Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Fine girl like you, just be messing in your... hmm. Auntie. Yeah, what is ah. it? What is it? The mess is coming. Hey, please don't just start. <laughs> 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 this girl. Oh, oh, no, no, I got you. I got you. But you can try yourself. But it is smell it. You can't move. Please let her enjoy the food. Uh -uh. You mm. like the food? Mm. Mine was the mess. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt it move. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> you silly girl. <laughs> Ah, ah. <laughs> don't touch my baby. It's our baby. Eh? It's our baby. Uh -huh. Now you baby. <laughs> okay. By the way, did you give Sunday the money? Oh yes, I've given it to him. He should be arriving with the car by Wednesday. And your mechanic has serviced the car, so it's good to go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. You're, You're such a sweetheart. By the way, um, have you heard from a dog called Dan. Mm hmm That's the hot gist I wanted to give to you. Mm. You remember Clara from uni? Okay, what about her? Turns out that she's related to Daniel's wife. Mm -hmm. And then she brought their auntie's 15-year-old daughter from the village to come and help out at the boutique and to start uni. Okay. And sometimes Daniel drops off Victoria there on his way wait, to... Wait, who's, who's Victoria? That's his wife now. That's his wife's name. Okay. Check this. <sighs> He starts to sleep with the little girl. Jesus, what? As we speak, she's pregnant. You are joking. At all. Hmm. The cat is so out of the bag right now, eh? His wife is devastated. She's leaving oh him. She has even filed for a divorce. And her family is so mad. All that money that Daniel has been flossing around town, turns out that it's her family's money. And they're taking every cobble back, everything. Oh my God. God will punish that man, I swear. Wait, but what? Hmm. 15 years old. It's game over for him. Oh, he's finished. Totally. You see this life? You see? Hmm. hmm. Now what? Meanwhile, has he called you since then? <coughs> Call me. Daniel. He hasn't called me, oh. Nah. You know, that guy thought I was joking when I said I'm having this baby. He doesn't have the decency to call me and check up on me on this condition. Oh, wow. But will you tell him, though? I will, after I have my baby. Just so that he knows. But I promise you, he will not come near my child. A careless, heartless man. He's a pig. It is well, Sean. But, man, I don't know how you do it. You are a strong superwoman, you know that. <laughs> Ada, to be honest, it's God. God has and God is still my strength. Amen. Thank but you God. know, 
A girl has to do what she has to do. <laughs> Hello? Hang on, let me step out. Why do you have to go out to answer your phone? Why can't you answer your phone here? Honey, um, I didn't know you were awake. I, I did not want to disturb you. Good morning. Well, you're not disturbing me now. Answer your call. Okay, sure. Hello? Hello, are you there? Um, are you there? Is that how he talks to you? Yes, that's my husband. Look, I will not have any imbecile talking to my baby like that. You know you mean the world to me. Who is this now, eh? Please cut the crap and get straight to the point. Are you sure you know who you're talking to? Oh, I said cut the crap now and get straight to the point before I hang up this line, no, eh? I only picked up because I thought you had something reasonable to tell me. But obviously you do not. So please, hang up before I do it for you. Don't you know I'm a married woman? You must be out of your mind. But listen up. And listen good. The exchange at the restaurant was not enough. I needed to do better than that. And do not, I repeat, do not try anything funny. Because I am watching your every move. Just be a good girl and cooperate. Before I show my true self. What will you do? Kill me. Because I did not give in to your advances, Abby. Please, Olga. If you have any problems, I advise you call the head office and lay your complaints. Calling me very early in the morning is not what you should do. Besides, there's nothing I can do about your lost funds. I no longer work there. So, please, do the needful. Call the bank. I know you're going to cooperate, so I'm not going to talk more. I want more money. Good day, sir. <laughs> Who was this? Don't mind this customer, eh? I helped him open an account and somehow his funds got lost in transit and he's been disturbing my life ever since. Oh, are you not the account officer? Eh, uh, honey, I was now. Eh? I remember I quit now. But I've told him what to do. Besides, I think this thing is a setup because this man was asking me out. Yes, and I think it's a way for him to continue talking to me. He's even asked me to come and see him. Is he mad? Mm -hmm. Does he not know the way to the bank? Good thing I asked you to quit this job. Banking is just not a good job for a woman who wants to grow a home and raise a family. You're right, honey. Please, let's forget about this because I have enough on my mind as it is. What is bothering you again now, babe? Come on now, don't stress yourself, I beg. See your condition. It's my brother. He called late last night. Sounding all kinds of shady with his demands. What do you mean all kinds of shady? In fact, I think he's even lying, Sefe. He was saying things like he's not been able to feed his wife and kids and that he's not been paid. One never knows with Benga. Benga? Isn't that a Yoruba name? Yes. You never told me anything about having a brother. Honey, I didn't see the need to now. This guy is a thorn in my flesh. I just try to avoid him. Besides, he's not exactly my blood brother. He's a son my mother had with the Yoruba man. <laughs> oh, wow. With the way your mom was going on expressing disappointment with your pregnancy, one would expect her to be spotless and seen. <laughs> I know, right? Pots calling Ketu black. <laughs> Why do you think I had the courage to talk to her the way I did? Uh, now it makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. Mm. Anyway, you shouldn't throw out a prodigal child. Well, why don't you call your brother? Let me have a chat with him. You know, maybe I can help him with something tangible to do. Yeah. Okay. If you insist. No, I insist. Okay, I'll um, 
call him and and ask him to come over. Okay. Mm. Honey, you're so sweet. You're such an angel, eh? <sighs> Let me get you your breakfast, okay? Okay. Come now, come and give me some sugar now. Yeah, take it. Mm. <laughs> Please brush your mouth. Look who's talking. Have you brushed your own? <laughs> I want you to meet my bestie, Ada. Okay. She came to stay with me in the meantime. Ada, this is Dr. Frank. You know the one I've been telling you about that's been helping me. <laughs> <laughs> nice to finally meet you, Doctor. Thank you so much for everything you've been doing for my friend. She's told me all the good things you've done. Thank uh, you. Well, she's been a good friend to me too. Oh. Plus, I mean, it's great that you came around to stay with her, especially now that she's really close to her due dates. When is that again? 29. Ooh, so close <laughs> by. Are you ready? Um, well, I guess I am. You know, Dr. Tola has been amazing, so I'm mm. in good hands. The very best. Mm -hmm. Please, let me know if you need anything, okay? I will. Thank you so much, Dr. Frank. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Take care, okay. It was nice to you again. Yeah, you Lucky Medical Center, good morning. AB on the line. How may I help you? Ma, the doctor is in the theater with the patients. Okay, I'll get back to you shortly. You're welcome, madam. Have a great day. Oh, good, good morning, morning. Mrs. Shoba. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, please, I'd like to see my husband. Uh, is he expecting you? Yes, he knows I'm coming. Okay, please sit down. Let me find out. Thank you. <sighs> Madam, I'm sorry, Dr. Shoba isn't taking his call. Uh -huh. But let me find out where he is. Thank you. You're welcome. Lydia, have you seen Dr. Frank this morning? Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> He's actually around, but currently in the theater. Okay, Mrs. Shoba is here to see him. Good morning, Ma. Good morning. Good morning. Um, but I, I spoke to Dr. Tola this morning and she said he was free. He was actually free. A case was referred here that needed his immediate attention. I'm sorry he won't be free for the rest of today. Okay, please just tell him to get in touch with me. It's really important. I'll make sure he gets your message, ma'am. Thank you. Congratulations on the pregnancy. It's been a long time coming. Huh? Oh, I'll go get the door. Hello. Good evening. Hi. I finally met my in-law. Yes, finally. I don't know. I'm fine. <laughs> you know, um, Titi had asked me to stay away. She didn't want me bothering you. Titi? That's what you call her? That's my Yoruba name for her. Ah, oh, nice, 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 nice. See, eh? Forgive my wife. You know women, they can be overly protective of their husbands. Uh -huh. But True. that's gonna change. I assure you, that's gonna change. We're a family, so we have to help each other. Thank you understand? very much. No, no problem. I appreciate it. Yeah. Please, come and have a seat. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Ah. I mean, I want to know how I can help. Because uh, my wife was telling me how you, but you need some money. But I think you need something more than money. I think you need a business on ground to be able to sustain a livelihood. Yes, thank you very much. That's exactly what I mm -hmm. need right no now, my in-law. No 
What do you have in mind, though? Um, I run a small bar, okay. but I need to give it a new look, an upgrade, as times have changed. But what about your job? Um, Dora was saying something about you not re receiving um, salary. Oh, <laughs> what's the point of keeping a job that never pays? I quit my job last month to set up my bar business. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, well, I can give you what I can next week. Okay. And then you can add that to whatever you've saved up for, you know, just to give it the boost that you're talking about. Okay. Hmm? Thank you very much, my no I should be on my way now. I'll come back by next week to collect the money when it's ready. <laughs> Why do you hurry now? You just came. Stay the weekend, D. See, I mean, I don't have much now, but I should be able to find something tangible for you by next week. Eh? Fair enough. I'll stay. It's not like I have a wife and kids to run home to anyway. Ah, well, now you talk. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Benga. Did I hear you say you don't have any kids or wife to run home to? Hey, Yeah, what don't make you vex, Abby? <laughs> Look at you. Congratulations. Congratulations, my in-law. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> um, babe, I've asked uh, Benga to stay the weekend. I want to help him set up his business properly. And I also want to, you know, find something tangible for him when I get to work next week. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you are so sweet. But can't he leave and come back on Monday? Then you can give him what you want to. I, I don't want it to seem like my family is choking our space. Huh? No, no. Choking your space? Eh, Titi? Choking your space? Has Papa and Mama come here to choke your space? You know exactly what I mean, Benga. So don't turn it into a fight. Eh? I don't have the strength for it. Of course you don't have the strength. After all, you are pregnant. Honey, please just wire him this morning. He doesn't have to stay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see you both get under your skins quite easily, eh? <laughs> Sibling rivalry. Ah, me, that one I can relate now. But baby, let him stay, please. I insist. <laughs> please. Let's see how it goes then. This one that some people don't want me here. Who are the people? Do you see double of me? Damn right, I see a double of you, Titi. A double of you. GD! <laughs> Benga, take it easy with your sister now. Fine. I play nice. Can you go get some drinks? Uh -uh. Why are you all hot? What did happen? Your brother is here, go get drinks for him. Why must I get some drinks? Baby, ah, stop it. Come on, babe, go get some drinks. Please. So, what's your favorite channel? I was just watching music. Oh, I love football, you know. Oh, soccer. Went out and she went with the car. Hey. Okay, Ooh. um, let me go and get a cab. Can you wait? I don't know by the time you go out of the estate. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It pains too much. Okay. Um, what about your doctor friend? Ah, call him. Okay. His hospital is nearby. Just use my phone to call him. Okay. Tell him to come and pick us up. Okay. Sorry. Eh? Hello, Dr. Frank. It's Queen. She has gone into labor and we don't have the car to take her to the hospital. Please, can you come and give us a ride? Okay. Number 13, Marine Drive, Greenville Housing Estate. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay, he's on his way. Um, he says to keep breathing deeply in and out. In, out. Go and get my maternity bag. Okay. Ah! 
Keep breathing in and out. Oh. It's in the compound. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go downstairs. At least by the time he gets here, we would have made our way downstairs. Easy, easy. Okay. Keep breathing, eh? Keep breathing. In and out. In and out. Sorry, eh? Sorry. Just easy. 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 I don't know that thing. <laughs> well, that's long way. Uh, how did it go? It went well. Uh, there was no complication, and she just had a beautiful baby boy. Oh, yes! Congratulations! Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, goodness, thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. So, can we go and see her now? Uh, not now. They are cleaning her up. Just give them 40 minutes, then you can go in. Alright, thank you, Doctor. Okay. Thank, thank you, you Doctor. Yeah. Wow, this is so surreal. I can't believe my friend is now a mother. I know, right? I mean, one minute you are all alone and the next minute you have a whole human being to take care of. <laughs> great. Do you have kids? Um, no, but my wife is pregnant. Oh, wow. Congratulations. You must be a happy expectant dad. <laughs> yes, I, uh, yes, I am. Um, Excuse me, let me let me go. Let's check. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to see it. I'm going to kill it. Please, my wants to kill me. Who wants to kill me? 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 Think I'm not your husband, talk to any and get away with it. If you think I'm your wife, I can lay your hands on and go at liberty. Try it and you'll be locked up. What kind of rubbish is this? See, this is why you have reduced me to your friends. They no longer respect me anymore. Yes, but you are not your friends. You are not your friends. Why are you coming at friends? That's that young fool. Come on, take that friends. Mercy, you must give it to me. You will kill me. You will kill me. You want respect? You are not ashamed of yourself. Janet, Janet, stop, 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 please, please. Janet! What if something severe had happened to you? Why won't you report this matter? I'm tired. It's I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm tired, I can't do this anymore. Janet, you can't push him like that now. What if something had happened to you? I did not push him. He pushed me first though. I said I was going. He said, what am I wearing? I asked him what was wrong with what I was wearing. He said, I want to go and meet other men outside. Shameless! Go and find your mates! Wicked man! It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I can't take it anymore. It's okay. The bruises are just too much to do. Janet. I had to fight back. I know. I had to liberate myself. Janet, Janet, but something could have happened to you. There are proper authorities left to solve this kind of things. Eh? Please. You. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, see your face. Hey, oh, sorry. You will miss your match. You sorry. <laughs> Honey, is that you? What did you? Babe, what's up? Winga, what kind of rubbish is this now? Don't you have sense at all? What are you doing, my oh, husband? Oh, yeah, now. Finish the sentence. <laughs> Your husband's room? Which husband? <laughs> Chidi! Who call me Titi again? You think Chidi is stupid? Eh? One more slip up and you'll start digging. You wanna talk about slip ups? How about we first talk about yours, Miss Aituno? One, you apparently told him that I was married with kids. Two, you got pregnant and did not tell me about it. And that is not... No, the that's the point! Titi, we started this whole thing as a team. You cannot decide to shift focus midway and walk alone. It's not done that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have come for me, right? Eh? I gave you 500k at the restaurant. Then five minutes later, you come back and you stalk me. So now you've come to, to, to make troubles, Abby. Benga! 
Have I not tried from you? Have I not tried? Titi, don't get me upset though. Don't. Because if you do, you know what I am capable of. Why do you want me out so badly? Anyway, what is it? He is different. And I actually did love him in school. You see, there comes a point in one's life where one just has to sit back and reevaluate. And that is what I have done. And I have come to realize that my past life has been filled with lies. And that is one thing that I want to correct. Titi. Haba. I don't even know if you are serious right now. <laughs> Honestly. Since acting, I'm pretending I was stuck in trade. But tell me, are you serious? Is that what you really want? Yes, that is what I really want. Okay, <laughs> let's play a game. How many months pregnant are you? And what has that got to do with anything? It does, Titi. Since you have decided to change your mind, I might as well claim the product of my hard work. How many months pregnant have you been confirmed to be? Or better yet, we could go see a doctor. We can confirm from where we set this ball rolling <laughs> to now. Or what do you suggest we do? You don't Chris. Claire, come off of my room. Now, leave my house. How dare you come here and insult me in my own home? I bet Claire, come off of here, Jerry. You did power, eh? Abby. Yes, are they para? You did Besides, para. I don't even know what you're talking about because I, I don't understand. I could ask your husband's permission if you want me to. Ah, Winger. Why would you want to do such a thing now, eh? I, I did say I would say to you. You got pregnant for me six months ago. You told Banky not to tell me. You said you were fed up of your life with me and the things that I made you do. You said you were scared that some people were out to you and you wanted to change your name and keep a low profile. Next thing I knew, I heard you were hooked. Who did you think told your parents? Well, Winga, I gave you 500k now, just a, a few days ago. Eh? You said you were okay with me quitting. Why have you suddenly changed your mind? Great. Perhaps. <sighs> I don't know. Why? Why are we having this depressing talk? Come to me. I lost. I beg, I come up on your diary to the worry you. Huh? See, you are in my past, and that is where you will stay. I have a better future, and you will not destroy it, though. You hear me? You will not destroy it. See how long that lasts. Promise me you'll stay Goodbye. with me. We'll Darren. win this war. We'll fight for it. Benga, even if I have to pay you monthly, I will do it. Even if I have to pay you monthly. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Dr. Frank, I want to say a very big thank you to you. <laughs> thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for taking care of her. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. This is for you. Uh, this is a lot. <laughs> you deserve it. You deserve more than this. Wow, thank you. You're thank welcome. You very much. Thank you. <sighs> You're welcome. Okay, let me go give baby a bath. I'm coming with you. <laughs> Please carry the bag. Baby, it's so cute. Ah, Ada, leave my picking, no. Ada, leave my picking. Don't steal him, oh. <laughs> She's crazy. I know, but he's a champ now, isn't he? Yeah. Can you imagine? My baby. <laughs> <laughs> he is a beautiful baby boy, and you made the right decision keeping him. I know. And if I didn't know this before, now I absolutely believe that. You know what? I'm going to love him with all my heart. I'm going to love him like I've never loved anyone or any man before. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Frank. Thank you for everything. You're welcome, Queen. Oh. 
Are you hungry? No, no, no. I'm fine. Hello, darling. Mwah. Is your boxer of a husband home? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> no, he's not. Come in. Thank you. <sighs> mm. So, just two of us then. <laughs> What's up? Any plans? No, actually, I just came to talk to you. You okay. remember the other day when I came here? Hmm. How could I ever forget? You came in right on time. I wonder how that fight would have ended if you did not come when you did. Thanks again, Rita. It's okay. Thank God. I actually came to apologize, you know, for the way I behaved when you tried to advise me about my marriage. I should have known that you were only looking out for me. It's just the way you put it, though. It wasn't nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh oh, Rita. We're way past that now. No, you know, we actually never addressed it. <sighs> Janet, you've been there for me from the very beginning. And I didn't know my story would turn out like this. I'm sorry too. Okay. I was I was too hard on you. I didn't want what I was going through to happen to you too. You're like my junior sister. Okay? <laughs> I would respect and support whatever you choose to do with your life. Thanks, big sis. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how we both have disturbing relationships with our husbands. Mm. That's why we need each other. And that brings me to the question I wanted to ask. Janet... What caused that fight? And have you taken a decision on the abuse? The long and short of it is that there is no trust or friendship in the marriage. He thinks I'm cheating on him with other men. Rita, I am never... I've never cheated on him. The other day he called me a prostitute. What? In front of his friends. Janet, it's okay. Imagine. It's okay. You know, I met I met someone recently and I'd like for you to meet her. I think she can help you. Okay? You don't have to go through beatings again. It's okay. I'll meet with this person you're recommending. Mm. It is well. Yes. Yeah. It's well. <sighs> you know, recently I heard a song that really touched my heart. It said, even if he's days late, or in my case, months, or years, even if he's late, he always restores on time. Always. Because his time is the best. So, I've decided to leave the matter in his hands. And now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. No. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, sure. Mm. I'll fix something. Yep, thank you.
divorce? Is this a final decision? I don't know, Tola. I honestly don't know. Frank. I know what you're going through. I... I just think you should think this over. Ijoma is a wreck. I didn't want to tell you, but she came the other day and asked me to carry out an evacuation on her. But when I said no, she left. Her emotional state. It wasn't just too good. I hope for her sake, she doesn't do something contrary to what I advised. Tola, I couldn't care less what she does with her body. Okay? It is her body and not mine. Frank, you are angry. I have never seen you like this. Please. Have you been home since? Frank, try and talk to her. Before she does something horrible to herself. Please, as a friend, please. <sighs> just, just try and talk to her before she does something horrible. Please. Tola, please leave me be. This food was good, huh? Dora, you can cook. <laughs> mm. Thank you. I try to do the best for my husband. <laughs> You're a special kind, eh? <laughs> I love you! I love you too. <laughs> Here's some water. Oh, thank you. Are you expecting anybody? No. Hold on, maybe it's the neighbor's maid. That one comes here for everything these days. She probably wants another onion. I'll get the dough. She is. Mm. <laughs> mm. Hey, sis. Benga. What's up? What are you doing back in? I thought I told you to. Who are you shouting at now? Oh, Benga. How are you? Fine, thank you. Oh, this is your brother now. He's staying a weekend with us. Why are you being hostile towards him? He said he was leaving. I gave him some money and now he's back. For what now? In law, I went to the park. I was to leave. But then I got there and there was no available car. What ah, am I supposed to do? Ah, stop lying. I gave you enough money to buy a flight ticket. Oh, so I'm lying. I'm lying, Abby. Do you want me to stop the lies? Muntiti, do you really want me to stop the lies? Don't you ever call me that name again. Leave my house. Oh yeah, I will leave this house only when your husband tells me to leave. <laughs> I take orders from him, but certainly not from you. You know the shit. They take orders from man like yourself. Stand there, they text me that and I will text and give you say by you the walk on eggshells. Will you both be quiet? Enough! This is ridiculous! Dora, this is Benga, your brother. What did he do to you to get this reaction? Ask me. Ah! Both of you sort this thing out. Not in my house. Please. Benga, please go to your room. Please. Yeah. Um, I need to talk. Yes. 
Give us a minute. I know you can't see that I'm pregnant. Can you at least look me in the face? I said I'm pregnant. Well, too bad for you, Joma. I heard you the first time. Why are you telling me this? What do you mean, why am I telling you this? You got me pregnant. Who else am I going to tell but the one who's responsible? <laughs> That's so funny. Me? Yes, you. Come on. That's ridiculous. How can I be responsible? Am I the only one screwing you? Well, it's either yours or my husband's. And it's definitely not my husband, so it's yours. I see. Well, then bloody get rid of it. I'm getting married. You're married. My wife will give me plenty of children, Ijoma. Thank you very much. I appreciate. Hmm? Go to your husband and give him the kids he so desires. Hi. Can I be honest with you? Hmm? Don't have sense. Honestly, I, I thought you were wiser than this. Hmm? I, I mean, come, who even gets pregnant from infidelity these days? Eh? Don't you know where to go? Or what to do? Or I even want to take the pills. Don't upset me. Because I can see from all indications that you have come here to upset me, Joma. So if you don't have anything better to say, please get out of my office. I have some editing jobs to supervise, as you can see. But, but do you want to tell me what that was about? Chidi, please forget about Bingo. Are you kidding me right now? Kidding how? I'm serious. Forget about him. Come Monday, give him whatever you want to give him and let him disappear from our lives. But please warn him never to come back here again you know, because he'll want to capitalize on your kind heart and leech on you. Please, 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 please. Don't deviate from the subject. I asked you what was that about? Uh -uh. Haven't you seen siblings fights before? Don't pretend that you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, Dora. Chidi, if you would only tell me what you mean, then we will prevent this argument too. Eh? Baby, don't stress me, I beg. My tummy is beginning to ache. Besides, what happened between my brother and I is none of your business. After all, I asked you not to let him come back. So that was the reason for the fight? Because I asked him to stay for the weekend? Dora, please, eh? don't take my calmness for foolishness. Eh? Even a fool can see that the two of you are fighting because of something. I, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just that I don't want Wenga to take over control of my life. You see, it can be quite overbearing sometimes. But is that why you want to eat him raw in my house? First of all, let me tell you, I don't believe that story you're telling me right now. I don't believe it. But please, whatever issues you guys have, Dora, go and sort it out, please. Whatever childhood misunderstand, let it stay in the past. I'm a part of your life now. I do not want my child to be raised in such hostile environment. Please. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll sort it out with him, eh? You better. I don't, before this thing gets out of hand. I'm sorry, Chidi. I'll sort it out, eh? You're too sweet, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah, come. Let me give you some. No, 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 no. Please. I'm in the mood for that. Please. Okay. Well. But just... Know that uh, your baby and I need your love and care. Frank. What are you doing here? Who let you in? She will be fired. Frank, I, I, had, to, I had to beg her for her to let me see you. What do you want? Frank, please. 
Please, please, Frank. I know that what I did was unthinkable. Oh, Frank, you have to find it in your heart to forgive me. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so... Ijoma, Ijoma, I do not want to see you. Please leave my office. Frank, please, if you, if you could just, if you could just, just see her. How oh, sorry I am, Frank. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Frank, please. I just know you. Ijoma. No, Frank, you have to forgive me. Ijoma. You have to forgive me. I said me, I Frank. don't want to hear you. You have to forgive me, Frank. You have to forgive me. Frank, you have to forgive me. You have to forgive me, Frank. You have to forgive me. You have to forgive me. You have to forgive me. You have to forgive me, Frank. You have to forgive me. You have to forgive me. You have to forgive me. I said I do not want to hear it, Ijoma. Now, would you please leave my office? Hello, John. Are you free? Hey, I beg, please come to my office. Please. It's urgent. Alright. Whew. Hello, soon to be father. Shane. I beg, sit down. What is it? John, I'm a bit worried. About what exactly? <clears throat> you know what, never mind. How did the setup go? I hope you people succeeded though. And there's a signal from your end. You call me into your office to have a talk and then you change your mind? Chili? No. Nah. Dora is giving me bad vibes. She's acting funny with her brother. I can't place my hands on it, but something is not quite right. What brother again? That's why I told you she's an only child. No, no. She says he's an inherited brother from her mother. Oh, well, I see. Mm. But something is off, though. The way they communicate, or should I say the lack of it. This guy didn't even know she was pregnant. Do you understand? He was genuinely surprised when he saw her. And she like made him accept that he knew. Do you get? Ah, uh, so, so what? So what about it? Guy, I can't place my hands on it, but... Their relationship is very weird, man. My guy. She wants him out at all costs. I promised to give him money to leave today. But before I returned on Saturday, guy, she had already given him money and sent him away. I wouldn't have known had he not showed up that night. Guy, you should have seen Dora. She was like a beast. Charging at him like, guy. Chidi, are you sure you don't want to get to the underlying cause of this? They are alone at home together, aren't they? Why don't we use our newly developed technology on them? You can't afford it. So? That gadget, eh? It takes everything away from a person, you know? It tampers with a person's privacy. I don't think I can do that to Dora. Besides, Gwenga is living today. I already have his money. Chidi, you mean you want to let him go without getting to the bottom of this? Huh? Listen, dude, delay this guy one more day. One more day and do what you have to do. 
other one and let me possess it for you. Use it to rest your mind once and for all. What's this talk about privacy? Huh? Listen, Chidi. When I get married, I'm going to have not one, not two, not three, but six around the house. <laughs> My wife will be under 24 7 <sighs> watch. Nigga, I don't play. Uh. Okay? Tell this Benga guy that you forgot the money in the office. If after a day you don't find anything incriminating, then you can let him go. You hear me? Let him go. Hmm. Where would I put it though now? Should I put it in my living room or in my room? Other two. Two. I can't believe it, Ijama. How could you do this? To your marriage, to that poor man. I give you more credit than this now, for goodness sakes. How could you sell out all your morals for some silly, short-lived fame? What are you, 17? Steph, easy now. Don't you easy me. If no one will tell her the truth, I will. I will not sugarcoat it. I will not hold your hands. I will not be careful to manage your fragile feelings right now. You should have thought about it before you stepped out on your husband. And you didn't even think to use protection. I know she messed up. In fact, big time. But she's our friend. Let's not judge her so harshly. The people outside will do a damn good job of that. I mean, they're all she's got. I mean, I'm angry too, but... How does that help the situation? I'm sorry. But I'm really worried for you, Ijoma. This is a big deal. And our men, they never get over something this big. You told me all the married actresses were doing it. <laughs> the director had worked with so many of them, so I, I just thought I was doing it for my career, you know, to secure a place. But he made me so many promises, I just got so carried away. I really messed up. When I missed my period, I didn't know what to do. I wasn't even sure whose baby it was, and I, I really hoped it was Frank's baby, so I, I told Frank that the baby was his. Done. It's connected. Oh, John, I told you, I told you. You just made me waste my money for nothing. Eh? Would I be sitting here watching my room? Patience, patience, patience. If need be, we'll have to stay here and monitor it all day, okay? Patience. Benka, what is it now, eh? Benka. Benka, what is it again now? What are you doing? What is it? Eh, Benka? Benka, what is it now? And you're wearing his shirt. What's so special Is it about being a shirt? Listen, before you start on this payment session, I hope you know that I am not the one delaying my exit. It is your foolish husband, Chidi. So now you're calling him foolish, Abby? Because he fell for your rubbish. You're calling him huh? foolish. He fell for our rubbish. All this talk of you wanting to use him as your last bus stop will not work unless he give me my baby and we part ways eventually. But if you think for a tiny winning second that I will sit down and let another man take my girl and my child, there you are even more foolish than your foolish chitty. Get out. Benga, get out, you betrayer. I hate you. I hate ever and I, if I, I regret ever having anything to do with you. How dare you 
understand them and call somebody who's about Look, to help you so push. foolish is it not is it not too blinded by the pineapple between your legs and the baby in your womb to even notice that all is not well has he bothered to go to your bank account to his bank account at your so-called bank to check if to confirm anything what kind of a man does that you put money away on deposit for months and forget about it because of the woman is that not foolishness Ah, John! How could I be so foolish? Eh? Hey man, if you were to blame anyone, blame me, okay? Because I saw her that day, I walked up to her and I reminded her that I knew her through you. John, don't no blame yourself. You did not know the kind of devil that this girl is. I'm in deep soup, man. I hope I don't commit murder tonight. You sure you don't want me to come home with you? I don't want you doing something that you will live to regret. No, bro, don't worry. I can handle it alone. Just get out of my life, Benga. You know what? When Chidi comes back, I will tell him everything. Yes, I will reveal everything to him. All that you have made me do. All the men that were scammed. I will tell him everything. Every single thing, Benga. And you know what? You will lose out at the end. And I, I will start afresh with him on a clean slate. And the baby. You think you would want to father another man's child? Well, I will take my chances with him. I will not go down without a fight. Did you wake up and smell the stink? You will lose out in the end. You will lose this life of yours. Everything, everything you own will vanish with a snap, snap of the finger. Just like all our other victims. Grab all you can from him. Reveal the paternity of the baby when baby is born and has the medical certificate. Walk away playing the broken hearted. Don't be foolish, Titi. Be smart. What has happened to you? Chidi, <sighs> listen. I beg you, in the name of whatever it is that you hold dear, to please, to please take it easy. And think about the aftermath of whatever reaction that you may take tonight. Please. No. No, Benga. I am done. I am done with all of this. I have two cracked up kids by you because of all this craziness. You know what? I would rather die than continue with your stupid plans. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay then, consider yourself dead, like you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey baby, <laughs> welcome my love. Are you okay? I couldn't be better. Thank you. I have good news. Let me take that. <laughs> I said I have good news. Okay. I finally made up with my brother. Oh, wow. Such great news. Wow. Good for you guys. Why are you telling me this, though? I thought you'd be happy for us now. At least we did as you wished. Oh, that was my wish. <sighs> my goodness. Foolish me. <laughs> oh, good for you guys. My house is now a unity ground. Yay! Honestly, I don't care if you guys kill yourselves. Sibling rivalry now, Abby. Anything else you want to tell me? Any good news? Or maybe bad news? Ch Chidi, what is all this now? I I I'm getting confused. I thought you wanted my brother and I to make up our differences. Now you're saying, I don't care if you kill yourselves. I don't care. I don't bloody care. Chidi, Chidi, wait, come, come. Why are you acting like this now, eh? 
Did anyone offend you or is it work? Wait, oh. don't tell me your boss suspended or fired you because we need all the money. Huh? I could spit in your face right now. Ah! Chini, what is all this now? Excuse me, I have to scrub. Mm, baby, wait, wait, just stop, stop. Uh -uh. You see, I'm getting really pissed right now. What is the matter? Forget about it. It's okay. I'm very tired. I need to go get a shower. Get some rest. Okay? Okay, what about your food? Hmm? I made it with love. <laughs> really? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not hungry. Your brother can have it. <laughs> How do you cope with him? <laughs> Man. <laughs> hey, remember that time we all road tripped to Calabar? Yeah. You remember that guy at the resort? Ugh. The one who was harassing me. And you punched him in the face, the guy <laughs> shocked. <laughs> Such an arrogant guy. I couldn't stand him. I couldn't stand him. You know, that's what I love about you, Frank. Always looking out for everyone. Please just find a way to deal with this. She's a wreck. For me, I kind of knew that that's where this whole trip down memory lane was going. Listen, you're a good friend, but what your friend did is nothing short of despicable. And she better be glad that my parents are not aware of it. Ah, uh, no, please, oh, let it just stay this way. I can't imagine how your mom will react to this. But Frank, I know you love her. What you guys share is very deep. Think about it. It's been beautiful all these years and I've had the privilege to see how amazing it is to have that. You guys, just watching you too. I mean, you guys are my heroes, Frank. I know she messed up. She lost her way and I can't begin to imagine what you're going through and how you feel. But Frank, this can't end like this. You know it. No, it can't. It shouldn't. Please. Please, Frank. You know I could have forgiven her. I could have. That is how much I loved her. But she tried to trick me into fathering her lover's child. If not for my infertility issues, I don't know how long she would have continued with that life for before I found out somehow. For me, that is cold. It's the worst possible thing a wife could do to her husband. I, I struggled with my conscience when I found out about this and I, and I, and I hadn't told her. Those were the longest two months of my life. I, I, I struggled with it. Because I didn't know how to tell her. I didn't know how she will take it, and I, I didn't know that what we had was strong enough to, 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 to deal with this. But the whole time, my wife was there frolicking around with that, that, that man. And she didn't even have the simple decency to protect herself, to protect us. For me, I've seen couples walk into this place and walk out with contracted HIV, STDs, and all manner of things. Compared to that, pregnancy is a dessert. So, so you want me to forgive her? If I forgive her, 
and, 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 and she puts to bed and she has that child. How am I going to love her? How am I going to love that child, the poor child? A child that is a constant reminder of her infidelity or my incapability? For me, I don't hate her. I promise you I don't. I, I love her. She's the one true love of my life. I can't love her beyond this. I'm sorry. This is it. The end. Uh-uh, Frank, please now. I know you have the mind to forgive. Please. For me. I've said everything I need to say about this. I have nothing else to say. Now, if you'd excuse me, I have work to do. Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we have. Why did I allow myself stray just because of my desperation to have children? Why didn't I listen to my heart? I have made the biggest mistake of my life with Dora Abititi, who has turned out to be the greatest schemer. How deceitful and criminal in my house, under my roof. I can't understand it. I can't bottle it up any longer. What do I do with this evil woman lying in my bed right now? Security, make sure he remains outside. He tries anything funny, call your head security and detain him. Do you hear me? <laughs> what are you coming? Don't call me that stupid one. Get up! Oh, Jesus, Jesus, what are you Get up! Life? Now you're fully awake. Stand up, get your things, and get out of my house! Now! Calm down now. Don't talk to me. Leave my house! Leave my house before I commit murder! Your boyfriend is already outside. Go join him before I push you out. Which boyfriend, Chidi? Are you not mistaken? Oh my goodness. Dora, you don't have a soul. You're not from this world, Dora. You're from the kingdom of, kingdom of darkness. Okay, Chidi, see. Enough with all these name callings, so, uh, I beg. Eh? Just stop, I beg. One more thing I have from you, I will cut your face to pieces! Eh? One more thing! Take yourself. Take your boyfriend's baby. Get out of my house. Get out of my house now, Dora! Go start a life with the money I gave you to open a fake bank account. Now! Chidi, please. Chidi, please, I beg you. Please. God, what have I done to myself? Oh, Dora. Chidi, please. Dora. Please, I can't. I'm holding myself. I'm holding myself from doing something permanently damaging to you, Dora. Chidi, please, let me. Leave. Explain. Dora, leave. I've had the privilege of knowing you. Who you are. Where you're from. What you do for a living. Your lies, all the name callings, I know it all. That I'm asking you basically to leave my house does not mean I'm stupid, Dora. Dora, do not push me. Get your stuff and get out of my house now. Dora, now! He's cheating, my love. Please, just give me one more chance. Who are you calling your love? Who are you calling your love? Cut all that crap, get out! Get out now! <laughs> Get up! Thank you. Let me explain. <laughs> 
I will target you. Get out! She was discharged, okay? She was discharged. She was okay. Everything was fine. I said she was discharged, okay? Everything was fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I just need you to please do a bit of a follow-up. Call them and find out if everything is okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry about my outburst. Thank you. Something terrible is happening in this house. Your wife is pregnant and she's not happy. You, an expectant father, yet you're not happy. I spoke to Ijoma and she's not saying anything. Now that you're here, I hope you're ready to talk about it. Sister Ami, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay. You will talk, oh. <laughs> you don't know anything. You must talk. Since Ijoma has refused to tell anybody anything, and you, you're seated here like the weight of the whole world is on your shoulder. I think I'll call Bami. Huh? What are you calling Bami for? At least, someone should be able to tell him what the problem is. Eh? I'm worried about you. I'm your sister, you know you can talk to me. Sister Ami, there is no problem. I'm just... I'm just having some money problems, that's all. Oh, come on. Money problems? The joy of a baby should surpass all that. Besides, you can ask Bami for some money and you know he'll gladly loan you any amount you want. Sister Ami, I don't want to involve Bami in this, please. Please. Let me handle this by myself, okay? Truth is, this year has not been great. To be honest, it's been actually tough. It's just the whole frustration is beginning to get to me, but I will, I will get out of it, okay? We'll, we'll sort it out. But I don't want you to think about it too much, okay? Hmm? Uh, I just wanted to ask you. You and Ijoma, are you people okay? No problem. We're fine, sister. Mm. Because she needs your love and attention this period. Mm? Sister, mm. she's fine. She's being taken care of. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. So, <laughs> how many kids will we be expecting after this one? Just tell me a John now. Please, I don't want to talk about anything stressful. Just, I, I don't want to talk about anything stressful. Oh. Okay. okay. Talking about stress. Let me make you go to pepper soup. Hmm? At least that should relieve your stress a little. Besides, if your mind is not feeling too well, so she can't cook for you now. Well, I can't say no to that, can I? Of course not, you can't. <laughs> Let me fix a plate for you. Thank you, Sister Amin. What are you still doing here? Go and meet your wife in the room. Um, Sammy, I just, I just, I just want some quiet, you know, to be able to focus. You can get that peace and quiet in the room. What is wrong with you? You're not even romantic at all. When I was pregnant, eh, <laughs> my husband, he will massage my feet, rub my back. He even prepares meals for me. What is your problem? Be romantic for once, so Jerry. Fine. Hello? Yeah, help me now. It's Chidi. Hey, Chidoski. How far now? This one where you remember me today. I hope it's a better deal. Man, help me now. I'm sad. I'm sad. How could you advise me so wrongly now, eh? Why did I even listen to you? Uh -uh. 
What is it? Wait, wait. I'm, I'm lost here. What in the happen? Which kind of advice I give you? Obina, you have messed up my life if you don't know. I got the new guy as your advice now. Is that all? <laughs> TD, you two they fall my hand, I swear. What's the big deal if you took my advice and got yourself a new girl? You don't get it, eh? Guy, you don't get it. You have ruined my life because of the bad advice you gave me. Nah, I beg. Uh -huh. See, stop behaving like a boy that was forced to do what he didn't want to do. Did I force you to do it? Or was, was, was I there when you were opening our legs? See, please, don't come and put blames on my head, Biko. You're not a baby, please. It's fine now, uh, Obina. You're correct. I'm a baby. No wala. I did not want to go ahead with Dora's proposal. I did not want to accept it. You were the one that made me go through with this madness. What madness now, Obina? What madness? See, you, you've not even told me what the problem is. You just they holler me for phone. You know what? It is a general knowledge that most men out there, they look outside for children when their wife can't conceive. See, most people that I know, they've done this before and it worked for them. So, I don't know. Is it that she did not get pregnant or what? Which thing really happened? You know what, Elbina, don't worry. Hmm? No, Allah. I just called you to tell you thank you for ruining my life with Rita. That's all. Chidi, stop this game you're playing. And don't come and put blames on my head. And since you have refused to tell me what the problem is, then you can as well keep it to yourself. Have a good day. What do I do now? I just hope and pray that Rita forgives me. I hurt that girl real bad. You'll take me back, yeah? I don't know. Are you sure you want to do this, Ijoma? You have passed your first trimester already. I don't want you making another mistake out of desperation. For me, will you stop confusing her now? She's made up her mind already we're here. If this is the only way to save her marriage, then she has no choice. He loves me. I know he loves me. I know. I can't lose him, you guys. I can't lose him. The thought of losing him is... I... It's gonna be fine, okay? Oh. Mother, we are ready for you. Please come with me. We'll be out here. Okay? Everything will be all right. Okay. Okay, um... I'll see you guys. But this life is a funny place, so. Eh? While some people are looking for babies, others are taking them out. Now, wow. But Steph, how you still find this guy Cora? She has to do what she has to do. This is a very dicey situation. Even my husband said it. But you have to take the baby out of the picture so that he or she doesn't come into a troubled family. But you and your husband are crazy. Uh -uh. I never expected this kind of decision from a married couple with children. Are you sabi? We are not the enemy here. The real enemy is that lustful and seductive director who made IJ spread her legs. But honestly speaking, Steph, eh? Ijoma no try at all. Uh -uh. It's bad enough that she spread her matrimonial legs for another man. But to not even think about protection. That is a totally different case study on its own. <laughs> it's a, I beg, for me, which one be matrimonial legs again? <laughs> I beg, leave me to
What's going to Have you done it? I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I can't. What happened to me? What happened to me? How, when, when did I become this person? Oh, my Rita, I'm so sorry. I remember when I first met you. Your innocence, your beauty, it just pulled me to you. God, please. Please give me back my wife. I want my wife back, please. I promise to rededicate my life to you. Wash away every spirit of Dora from my life. And make me brand new. Amen. Should I call her mom? I'm pretty sure she's really upset with me over everything. Should I go to Rita? Maybe if I can get her to forgive me, she can help influence her parents. Or should I go to Janet? <sighs> Maybe I should go to her parents' house in Ibadan. <laughs> you know what, I don't even care. I don't care what happens. I just want my wife back. I just want my Rita back. I want my wife back. Dying. You don't tell me saying they come now. You just enter and begin come. Oh Asi, no. I was just in the neighborhood. Though. Ah. I went to the supermarket. Mm. And. And with. Make me sit down first. Make me sit down. Talk now. Make me sit down now. To the supermarket and I saw Frank. Hey, you saw Frank? Wait now. Where can I talk? So I saw Frank with a woman. You saw Frank with a woman? Which woman? Who is she? Where can I talk? Finish Where? now. Don't, don't, don't okay, talk now. Okay, I'll not talk again. I'll not talk. Ah, you go just the hala. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry. So I saw Frank with a woman and a baby holding a stroller. And they were looking so loved up. In fact, myself, I come confused. So. Hey! Fumi, you see it? You see it now? See Frank punishing me for cheating when he's doing the exact same thing. Fumi, are you sure that baby is not Frank's? Eh? Are you sure he did not plan this whole infidelity thing just so that he can get me to talk after being tipped up about my affair with the director? Hey, Fumi, why are people like this now? Why are people like hey, this? Jama. No, Fumi, why are people like this? Hey, hey, hey Frank, Frank, Frank. Hey, Frank was with a baby. Frank was with a hey, baby. stop this now. Eh? You have painted enough negative pictures already. What is all this? See how you just quickly wrote a full movie script just because I told you that I saw Frank with a woman and a baby at the supermarket. For me? So the day I told Frank about my pregnancy, this is what he wanted to tell me about, eh? He wanted to tell me about this woman. A woman with a baby. For me? Huh. Ijoma. In fact, no. Ijoma. I'm going. Where you they I'm go? I'm going. Okay, where you they go? Oh, yeah, come and take me now. Where is the place? Where you know, say you they go. Let's go now. Let's go come on. Uh, Ijoma, Fumi, stop. Why you baby Ijoma, like... Ijoma, stop this. Seriously. What has come over you all of a sudden? Eh? This is not the best way to approach matters like this. Listen, I understand how you feel. But you have to calm down, okay? Calm down so that you can reason properly. 
to him. No Are you sure that baby is not his? You don't know yet, but then how will you know if you don't calm down? <laughs> calm down! <laughs> hey! Nami can't go be carrier of bad news. Mm. Frank, eh, we are for me, but are you sure that baby is not his baby? <laughs> I cannot tell you that, too, but at least you will be calm. If you calm down, you will reason properly. Chidi! Chidi! Mama! Chidi, be kopota, oh! I'm trying to get something for you and Papa. There's nothing in this house, though. There's nothing. Sit down. Okay. <sighs> How are you, my son? No, no, no. I'm fine. And how is your pregnant mistress? Oh, she's gone. Jeez. <laughs> What happened? Mama, you were right all along. I was wrong, I admit. I should have gone ahead with Dora. But I was blinded by my hunger to have kids. She saw my desperation and she took advantage of that and played a fast one on me. See that pregnancy self? That baby wasn't even mine. It was for her boyfriend. The two of them, they were in on this all this while. They planned the whole thing. Chidi. Do you mean to tell us that after putting us all in such an unbearable time, you have now decided to chase her away? I hope you have not called us here to accompany you to go and see your wife, Rita. Teresa, mm -hmm. I told you. Yes. I told you the way it sounded on phone. Yes. There was more to the I miss you boat. Yeah. So I know he wanted us to come and go and plead for him on his behalf. Chidi, uh, please, if I am wrong, correct me. Papa, you are not wrong. I just want my wife back. Mm. You think she will sit down and be waiting for you to come for her? Okay? Dalo, oh, well done. No need Mama, I know. I know. I know she's moved on. The other day I saw her with one guy, the way they were even looking, it's, you could tell they were in love. But I don't care for all that. I don't care for that. I just want my wife back. How can that be possible? Where do you want to start from? Chai, poor girl. Please, leave her to enjoy her new man. Find another woman. Papa, I don't want another woman. Now my wife I want, Papa. Mom, please now. You are who? Biko, Biko, Biko. You see? Find a way around it yourself, eh? Mr. Noito, can't me out to Akokwanamafa. Akokwanamafa. Neighbor for me is Zuzwari. Eh. Eh. People don't want to follow me to go and see my wife, eh? Mm -hmm. You will see what will happen. Mm -hmm. I will not go to work again. Mm -hmm. I won't go to work. I won't even eat. Then you want to try me. You will come to this house. Every day you see me. See this weight, I will lean. Eh. Watch. Oh, yes. If you don't go to work, they will sack you. And if you don't eat, you just die. How about Frank? How can you just zone off on everyone like that? Eh? Who is she? Who? I saw you at the grocery store the other day with a strange woman and a baby. <laughs> you know you can't abandon your wife like that, Frank. You have been all over town with a strange woman. What about it, Joma? She needs you, Frank. You are all she has. Have some empathy for her condition, at least. My wife. <laughs> she has you, doesn't she? And the strange woman you're talking about is a good friend whom I help from time to time with her baby. You do know I have other friends, right? Frank. She needs you. She doesn't eat well or sleep. All she does is cry. Okay? You know it's not good for her condition. Come and see her at least, please. What's the point? I don't see it. I mean, she has you, doesn't she? Am I her husband? 
It is you she needs. No, Fumi, no. It is her baby daddy that she needs. Where is he? Is he faceless? Or has he abandoned her and the baby? <laughs> Fumi, tell your friend she needs deliverance. I can't believe you're the one talking like this, Frank. Tell me something. Have you moved on? Have you moved on with that woman? Are you the father of her baby? Tell me, Frank, are you the father of her baby? And all this just about your infertility issues. What was it? A lie? Was it all a lie? Or perhaps it was a ploy to get my friend Ijoma out of the way. Which is it, Frank? Tell me. Well, he said they are just friends. I don't know, but he might just be telling the truth. Because I don't want to believe that Frank would meet somebody within these last few months just like that. Without knowing where this marriage stands. You guys need closure if he doesn't want the marriage again. Frank has very few friends, especially female friends. And I knew every single female friend that he had. Whoever this woman is, he must have just met her because I definitely don't know her. What if it's more than friendship? What if he's really moving on? Hey. We don't know that. Mm -hmm. We don't know that yet. But you can't give up. Mm -mm. And you have to ease up. Ijoma, think about your baby. Your baby needs you too. IJ, for me, is right. You can't let this thing take all of you. I mean, it's taking him this long to make up his mind about this marriage. Maybe a part of him doesn't want to let go. Exactly. Frank loves you. I hope so. I hope so. <sighs> but if he loves me, why will he go prancing all around town with a woman and a baby? Eh? Fumi, did you ask who the baby was? No. Because he said he's just friends with the woman, but what about the baby? Fumi, I know Franco. I know my husband very well. He's very passionate about children. He's very passionate about family. What if he has found the complete package in this woman? What am I going to do? Fumi, I'm not comfortable with this, so I'm not comfortable with it at all. We have to get to the bottom of this now. Eh? Did you consider the fact that Frank might have told you that they are just friends so that you will get off his back? Did you consider that? Come to think of it. I didn't see it that way. Oh. Oh. Hey. hey. I have to investigate. You have to. For me, you just have to. Please. I really do. Please. Ah, Papa Chidi. My in law. Ah, ah, good to see you. Yeah. Hmm? How is the family? We thank God. Yeah. We are all fine. Please sit down. Hmm. Papa Chidi, I hope all is well. Yes. This one that you are here with Chidi. Uh, Chidi, have you come to invite us to your baby's name ceremony? You are the least person I expected to see in my house. Papa. Mama, please forgive me. I know I've wronged you and my wife, Rita. Please. We oh. have come to apologize. Please hear us out. Really? <laughs> I'm listening. Chid, please sit down. There's no need for this. What about your husband? He has gone out to see a friend. Indeed, I would have wanted my husband to be here. But you can carry on if you wish. Otherwise, you will come back when he will be at home. It is okay, my in-law. Whatever we say, we know you will relate it to your husband when he comes back. My son, Chidi, has come back to his senses. Ah, thank God. He was blinded by a strange force, which made him to abandon his wife for another woman. But as God will have it, he has come back to his senses and wants his wife back. <laughs> Papa Chidi, please don't make me laugh, because... 
This appears to be a serious matter. He wants his wife back, eh? <laughs> you said it as if he left her at the corner here, waiting for him to come and collect her. Eh? <laughs> Very funny thing, though. Anyway, she's not here. You know she lives in Lagos. She has gone back and she's living her life. Mama, I'm sorry. Mama, I was wrong. I apologize. Please help me. Please. So, if this did not happen, you wouldn't have come to beg. Anyway, I'm not the right person you should be talking to now. I just thank my God for exposing the devil. That's one thing I am grateful for. Mama, where does Rita live in Lagos? I want to see her. I want to talk to Rita, please. That is very hard for me to see. She has moved on and living with her earthly comforter, Edward. So you might have to give me some days, perhaps weeks, to get in touch with her and hear what she has got to say. Mama, what are you saying? <laughs> Rita is married. What if she is? What's wrong with that? Papa Chid, you see this your boy? You still have man to ask questions, Abby? What did you expect? You expected her to fold her hands and cry every day for your stupidity? Sorry to disappoint you. My Rita has moved on and is living happily with her toys. Therefore, stand up now and leave my house. Papa Chid, I have got things to do. Please tell your son to call me in two weeks' time. Maybe Rita would have stayed then. I understand your pains. Even my wife is still very angry with him. Mm. That is why she's not here with us. We will go and do as you have said. Thank you. Nguanu. Chidi, let us go. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay here and wait for my wife. Even if it's two weeks, I'm staying here. I don't care if I die. I'm staying. Then you will die for two weeks and wake up later. I cannot continue to fool myself. Remain there. Huh? Eh? Remain I'm where? I'm going. Bye-bye. Stand up and leave my house before I do something all of us will not like. Chidi! Chidi! Get up. Leave my house. I know fear, I know Pama. Is it because I, I'm, I'm being nice? Please. Leave my house, just go. Hello? Hello, Fumi. I don't know. I know where Frank is. Remember that woman I told you about? The one I saw him with at the grocery store? I traced him to her place. What? He's at her place? I thought you said he was at a hotel. When did he move out from the hotel? Calm down. I don't think he moved in proper. Ah, for me. He, he's really doing this. He's really moving on. I think she's just housing him for the time being. She apparently lives with her aunt. It's the same thing. He has found a place and he's moving out for good. Calm down, Ijoma. Frank has moved in with a lady. Fumi, are you sure? That doesn't sound like him. It's all part of the rebel. He's angry and feels the need to do something. Oh, yeah. Someone to talk to, like a female friend or a lover, right? What's the address? What's the address? Okay, it's number 12, Marine Street, Greenville Estate. It's not far from Frank's office. Good. I'm going to put an end to this once and for all. I've done everything I can and he just keeps shutting me out. If Frank is not man enough to do right by me and tell me that it's over, then I'm going to help him out.
Hello? Hello? Ijoma? You're back. Yes, I am. So what did you buy? Oh, <laughs> what did I get? White sheets? Yeah. Seriously? Is this all that you got? The way you took off from here, I could have sworn you needed to buy a life-saving commodity. What? No, 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 no. Listen, like my food, I like my sheets pure and clean. Mm. Can't you see how often I come here to have just a taste of your aunt's amazing cooking? <laughs> that man is amazing, Sha. She should have our TV show. Mm -mm. What? Don't change the subject, though. Let's talk about this, your OCD issue. I mean, white sheets. Make me feel like this place is unclean for you. Abba, queen, no, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Listen, it's just something I love, mm -hmm. okay? Like, it's a habit I formed way back in secondary school. You know, in dormitory <laughs> days, the sheets were supposed to be white, and that was also like a test of how clean someone was, so. Ah, so us that like color sheets, we are dirty, have we? No, uh, uh. I've heard you, my sexy Dokita. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Well, By the time you come tomorrow, eh, I'm going to change this place in and out mm -hmm. just for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, <laughs> You know, Queen, thank you. I'm, I'm really grateful for this. Thank you for this. You're welcome. It was my aunt's idea that you stay here. You know, she thought it would be too expensive for you to stay in a so-called hotel. And <clears throat> I don't want you getting all tempted by these hotel chicks. Uh, uh, nah, nah. Mm. Nah, fam. Nah. Nah, fam. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't want that. I don't want you won't get tempted. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go the same line as my uh, as each of our Hey stop! Why are you running this pit? Why do you use Queen? Okay, please, I'm hurrying somewhere. Open the gate, let me go. Where are you going? Okay, please, just open the gate. I'm in a hurry, I have to go, eh? Is that why you should use this type of speech? Okay, please, I have to go and see my husband. Open the gate, let me go now. Okay, seeing your husband, you kill everybody. Oh, okay, because what of is your all husband? this now? What Stop. is all this, Oga? What is all this? If you don't want to let me go, then detain me now. See how you're delaying me, my condition. I don't know what you want me to do. What do you want me to do? Where are you going to? <laughs> By the way, where are you going to? <laughs> eh? I'm asking you, where are you going to? <laughs> the speed is too much, and the way you drive is not the way. Let me go. It's because of your condition. Where are you going? Tell me where you are going. I have to go and meet my husband now. I can't let me go. I can't tell you. I can't carry your wahala. Go. Come, come. Let, let, let leave this place. Officer, come and open this, uh, this gate for me. For her. Go with your wahala. <laughs> <laughs> It's not your fault, you know. Let me lay this your clean white bed sheet, eh? Since our own is dirty because it's color. Queen, come on, it's not like that now. No, Baba, sorry. It's not like that. It's like this. I'm leaving, oh, eh? Okay. Ah, good day, ma. Ah, good day. Um, do you live here? Yes, I do. Oh, please, I'm looking for Queen. Oh, she's my niece. Oh, she's your niece. Well, my name is Ijoma. I am the wife of your niece's friend. I understand that he lives here and I want to see him. Oh, you're Dr. Frank's wife? Yes, I am. Okay, um, I'm so sorry about your troubled marriage, but um, I, I think he needs time to heal. Oh, he needs time to heal. He needs time to heal. And you think that healing is going to take place by friends? 
extra looking around with your niece. Uh -huh. You're such a doctor. What a cliche. Look. At your butter. Wait, beg. What, wait, why do you people always say doctors are see? My deck is shit to street for I'll go do very much. You're so funny. <laughs> Madam, are you the one that is trying to set them up? No. Are you the one trying to set them up? Uh, oh, don't you think that they are too close? Eh, madam? Is he the father of your niece's baby? No, 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 no. I think you're getting it all wrong. They are merely friends. I won't do what you insinuate to a fellow woman like me. I won't. Look, I think you have done a grave mistake. And I think it's high time you look into it and, you know, rethink or something. So he has gone around telling the whole world about my sin. Eh? Yes, I made a great mistake. One that I am willing to correct. But keeping me away from my husband is a crime I will report to the police. My dear, I think you're taking things too far. We have nothing to hide here. I think you should go inside and see for yourself. Frank is merely here because he wants to. Nobody forced him. Mm. That's the truth. Nobody forced him. Nobody forced him. Yes, I suggested. Yeah, I provided a place for him to stay and he accepted. You suggested. I think it's high time you go in and talk to him before you label us kidnappers. Where is he? Where? Where is he, madam? Where? That is the flat there. Yeah, this... <laughs> This is a very nice picture, actually. I've, I've been looking at it. Yeah. I took that out. Like... Isn't he so beautiful? Yeah, he is. You're quite lucky. I'm so happy I had him. My little baby. Look at him. Just so... Ah, such a fine boy. <laughs> He's just so gorgeous. Like... easy it was for you to move on. Are you happy now? Frank, are you happy now? You just want to humiliate me the way I humiliated you. If all Frank then, why couldn't you just sign the damn divorce papers? And let me give up any hope of getting back together with you. But no. You had to just leave me hanging. This is torture. Frank, I know I'm evil. I did an evil thing and I hate myself for it. in front of the mirror and I want to rip my heart out. I went to a clinic, Frank. I made an appointment. I wanted to get rid of... I thought you'd be less hurt if I didn't have another man's baby growing inside me. And now I'm alone. I am no one. I'm pathetic. I'm sorry I interrupted. I just had to see for myself. Please, let me help you. Leave me alone! Please. Why are you trying to help me? Why do you want to help me? I just saw you kissing my husband! Juma. 
Oh, please. Please, what you saw was nothing but a harmless, friendly kiss. Please. I have nothing with your husband. Please, let me help you. You know your state of condition. Let me alone. You need some painkillers. No, I don't. I've had worse days. I'm sorry, and I know how you feel. No, you don't! You don't know anything about how I feel! I don't know what to do! I don't know what Frank wants me to do! I tried... I tried to get rid of this baby, but I, I couldn't go through with it. Don't you think that you are moving on too fast with him? What? I have nothing with your husband. You have to believe me, Ijeoma. Mm -hmm. And your baby? Who is the father of your baby? Frank is not the father of my child. Okay? My baby has no father. All he has is me. I am the father and the mother of my child. I'm sorry, but you are going to have to do better than that. Fine. Fine. Okay. Hijama, fine. The father of my child denied us when I announced that I was pregnant. Ever since then, he's been out of our lives. For goodness sake, I met Frank when I registered at the hospital, which is where he works. I was heavily pregnant. And I was walking home and he offered to give me a ride. And ever since we've been friends, Ijeoma, nothing but friends. I see. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, if I may ask, how far gone are you? Seven months. But it feels like 10 years. Yeah. I know what you mean. Pregnancy isn't easy. But, you know, when you get that last push, that first cry, it's like this rush. It's like a thousand goosebumps all over your body and just in your brains. Oh, God. Um, Ijoma, I. I know what you saw in there looked awfully cozy, but it was the first time it had ever happened. Even till now, I still can't even understand. I didn't even get to process it before you came in. I thought you guys were divorcing, and I had no clue that you were in this condition. And he also, he told me you cheated and all that stuff. I feel so awful. You see, your husband was, your husband was the first person that offered me a helping hand when I moved here. My so-called boyfriend turned out to be married. For one year, I didn't know. I had no clue at all. He was married. You know, like, I have no clue what is it about me that screams married men only. What is it? Hmm? One day I decided to follow him home and I saw him and his pregnant wife. Gemma, his pregnant wife. I mean, for goodness sake, what do you get for doing this? What do you get for lying to a woman? What do you get for misleading her? What do you get? It's a satisfaction. Is it? And then I found out that... <laughs> I found that I was pregnant. And like I said to you before, he obviously didn't want it. So in other words, it's like I'm pregnant with a bastard child. So, as you can see my life, I moved in here with my aunt. So I can just get away from all this madness and focus on my child. So yes, Ijoma, 
Yes, I know how it feels to be alone and to be in this condition. I know how it feels. And from what I see, it's obvious that you still love him and he has feelings for you. You did wrong, so what? We all make mistakes. Huh? But Ijuma, no woman should have to be in this state alone. Please. I believe in the friendship that I have with Frank. Let me talk to him. Frank has a good heart. Just don't give up yet. There's still something to be safe. Are you sure? Are you sure this is the truth or you're just saying all this to make me feel better? Why do I have to do that? Why? Yes, I know he's angry with you, it's obvious, but... Jola, there's still something that you guys have. And it's worth being saved. So, go for it. Thank you. I have to be on my way now. She gone? Yes. She still loves you, Frank. Love. <laughs> Is that a blessing or a curse? I guess it's both. Isn't that life? You're a remarkable woman, Queen. After everything you've been through, you still have the ability to see the good in a bad situation. You deserve to be happy. I'm happy, Frank. Are you? Yes. Don't you deserve to be too? What? Happy. Hmm? Frank, you also deserve to be happy. And you can be happy with Ijeoma. She's still your wife. Queen, honestly, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how and if I can ever let this go. Honestly, I, I don't know. Frank, can't you just give it a try? I mean, we're all capable of the meanest things, but at the same time, we are also capable of forgiving one another. For goodness sake, you cannot tell me that you love someone and you cannot forgive them. Wouldn't you want her to be by your side even if you're going through this? Queen, I know the vows I took, okay? For better, for worse. I know them. But, but this, this... Can I ask you a question, Queen? Sure. Do you have feelings for me? Frank, I... I like you. I mean, I really like you a lot. But... I don't have feelings for you in that kind of way. I would always love you. 
You're a good friend. I don't know what to believe. I mean, she, she says that there's nothing going on between them, but I really don't know what to think. What am I going to do? How am I going? figured I wasn't cut out for a lot of things like swimming, politics, love. Mm -hmm. Then about a year ago, I met this vivacious, immensely sweet woman. She rearranged my thoughts, my ideologies. And being with you married folks made me realize what a lifelong gift it is to have the love of your life <laughs> become your best friend and companion for life. Because the way I see it, as we get older and our physical bodies starts to wither and we progress into more advanced stages in life, it is this bond that makes it worth the while, what makes it count. They say when you see it, you feel it. You just know it. Just like I know that I love this woman without a doubt. 
Baby, you're kind, loyal, breathtakingly beautiful, full of life, and so, so smart. And of course, not to forget Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> you make me laugh all the time, every time. And I want this forever. This is exactly what I want. It doesn't get better than this. And on this special day of yours, I ask you to please marry me for me. Be my wife and make me the happiest man on earth. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I welcome you all again to our house. We all know the reason for this gathering because both families have spoken extensively on the matter. But I would like to hear what Chidi has to say. Chidi, your parents have spoken for you. They have interceded on your behalf. You, who is the cause of this entire problem? Speak for yourself. Let us hear from you. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, my parents. It's a privilege to stand before you. I'm humbled that you even considered this meeting. I'm also humbled that uh, you asked my wife to be here. My parents, Papa, Mama, thank you very much. I'm forever grateful. Rita, I'm sorry. Please, forgive me. I've been fasting and praying since the last time me and Papa came here. <laughs> I want to apologize for all the pain and all the hurt that I've caused you. I still love you very much. Very, very much. I cannot live without you. I can't. <laughs> so, I'm begging you in the name of God, please. I'm a changed man <laughs> with a new heart. Please forgive me, please. It won't happen again, please. Can you talk to me, please? Huh? Rita, this silence is killing me now. Talk to me. I greet you, my elders. If you permit me, please, I would like to say a few words. Go ahead, Edward. Chidi, finally we meet. 
I'm sorry it has to be this way, but it's all good. Rita over here has been through a lot in your hands. It is by God's grace that she has not committed suicide or done something permanently damaging to you yourself. If you ask me, I say he moves on. Go ahead, go and pick up the wife that you threw out of the house and work it out with her. Because Rita over here is extremely, extremely important to me. So in that case, she's a no-go area for any harm. Any harm. Keep off, one name. Keep off. Because if you do not, if you do not, you will hate me for life. And trust me, it is not a threat. It's a fact. Rita, my daughter-in-law, please have mercy on my son. <laughs> Papa, Mama, I'm happy to see you. And I am also very grateful to God for taking away shame and pain from me. Mm. <laughs> In fact, he has put a smile on my face. We thank God. <laughs> As you can obviously see, I'm pregnant. Very pregnant. <laughs> I'm not barren as Chidi and his concubine pronounced. <laughs> as of now, I have nothing to say to Chidi. So please, I beg to leave. It's Saturday and I have a lot of shopping to do Madam, in preparation for the baby's arrival. Okay, dear. Please, um, go where? Richard, where are you going now? Edward, please drive safe. Richard. Take care of myself. Hey, you don't want it for me. You don't want it for me. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. All right. Rita, what's wrong with you? Nothing. I'm just thinking. About him, right? Chidi. Yeah, he looked really sorry. Did you see him? I saw him. He seems like some sense has been knocked into him. He looks a lot different from what you told me. So, do, do you think I should forgive him? Do you want to? I mean, what if, what if he changes again? Look, I struggled to forget the pain. Chidi overdid it. He rubbished me. He cheated on me, his wife. I mean, I can try to forgive him, but I don't think I can forget. Look, Rita, there's no time for this. It's either you forgive the man or you don't. Make up your mind, darling. Make up your mind. Baby, please now. Please stop crying. You're breaking my heart. Huh? We'll make another baby, okay? Please.
for a procedure as expensive as this, it has to be thoroughly checked so that we have a perfect result and a healthy baby. But first, we have to monitor and stimulate the development of healthy eggs in the ovaries. Then we collect the eggs and secure the sperm. Together, we combine both and take them to the lab. Provide an appropriate environment for fertilization and early embryo growth. Then we can transfer the embryos into the uterus. Um, so how, how successful is this in vitro fertilization? Well, typically the success rate of IVF depends on a number of factors like reproductive history, maternal age, causes of um, infertility and lifestyle factors. It's also important to understand that pregnancy rate is not the same as life birth rate. That's why we really have to be careful how we follow this procedure one step at a time, carefully. did he go at the fertility clinic? It went okay. The doctor is hopeful, so we should start soon. Yeah. I know a few families who had children through IVF. I mean, it's expensive, but the success rate is impressive. Yeah, I heard. Well, how expensive though? No, we're paying about three million naira for a start. Yeah. Wow. Three million. But it's worth it though. Totally. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything will work out fine. It will. I really hope so. You know, I can't imagine what you guys are going through. Like, <laughs> sometimes it gives me the chill. At times I just wonder. Is this what Philip and I will be going through? Sometimes I just ask myself if we're going to start a family immediately, or if we're going to wait, or even if we're going to go through IVF. I don't know. I really I, hope, I, I hope not. I hope not. Mm -hmm. I hope not. <sighs> anyway, are we still going to the movies? Oh, yes. Of course so. You know what, girls? Let's hurry up because we have less than an hour and I have to get back to my family. <laughs> hey, now wow. I go love. Oh. Now you sad. <laughs> when is the wedding now? Keep us posted. Oh. Ah, don't mind them. They're keeping it hush. Really? Yes. Why? No, I'm not. But you know he's not based in Lagos, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm, exactly. So we plan on having it in Kaduna where he is based. Oh, makes sense. Here they go. <laughs> Oh, well, well, I'm up for anything. I would rather see a lolly with me. Oh, nice. My dear nice. face is something I can relate to. <laughs> <laughs> no. Edward! Yeah. Edward, what are you doing with my wife? Eh? What are you doing with my wife? Edward! Don't you know what you're doing is adultery? Eh? Or you don't know you're sleeping with another man's wife? Oh, so now you understand the meaning of adultery? When you were testing your potency around with anything in skirts, you didn't know that you were committing adultery, eh? Ed. Ed! Ed, that's what you call him now. An endearing name, I suppose, now. What did you ever call me, Rita? What? What did you ever call me? Eh? What happened to you? Rita, what happened to you? You were such an upright woman. Eh? You were a praying wife. You let him have you and you got pregnant. Was this a big bath for what I did wrong? Eh? Rita, what happened? Rita, what happened? Hey, don't leave my wife alone. Leave 
think my wife alone, you've you got to be her pregnant. Shut up! You should be ashamed of yourself! Shut up! Shady, you should be ashamed pregnant. of yourself! Because guess what? Not all men are like you. There's still some good ones on this earth. And guess what? I am one of them. Go kill yourself. Do you know the state of my sister when our parents had to call me back to come take care of her? And you stand there, speak such abomination. Wait. You're not a lover. She's your sister. Yes, Chidi. He's my brother. The one who lives abroad. The one you never got to meet physically. Okay, you don't know your wife, bro. You don't know the woman you married. You're liking her to a slut that you picked up who almost ruined your own life, right? Now that you know that he's my brother, can you stop calling us names? No, 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 no. Hey, Richard, now, please, please. Richard, don't walk out to me again, please. I beg, I beg, I beg. Please. I'm willing to do whatever it takes, please, to make this right. I beg. Please. Please, Richard, please. I promise to make this right. Please. So, Chidi, now that you know that it is you I'm pregnant for, you're now acting crazy and professing love. Chidi, please just leave me alone. How could you hurt me like this? I'm so sorry, Rita. I'm so sorry. Please. I'm so sorry. I still love you. I was willing to accept even with the pregnancy. It seems to be a thing these days, picking up pregnant women. Does he work in a maternity home or something? Edward, please. No, no. What do you mean by... You're willing to accept me even with the pregnancy. I don't, like, I don't even know what I'm saying. I just want things to be fine. I don't care about children. I just want you. I don't care about children. Please, I don't care. Chidi, promise me you'll never hurt me again. I promise never again. Never am I crazy? And never ever, please. Please, Rita. Chidi! Mm. I hope you've learned your lesson now. I have, Mama. Thank you very much, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. And to you, my daughter. God had been so merciful to us. Thank you for showing mercy. <laughs> Please forgive and forget everything. The rest is happiness galore. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Thank you for everything. Rita, Chidi, sincerely from the bottom of my heart, I wish you to the best in life. But Chidi, like a hawk, I got my eyes on you, you know? Capish? <laughs> Capish? That's my son. I got my eyes on you, Capish? Yeah. Thank you so much, man. You're a good brother indeed. Yes, Thank you so much. Man. See you. Thank you, Mama. Mm. And if you mess with my sister, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> my parents. My special Mama. Papa. That's my boy. Thank you. Thank you, both. Thank you. Mm. To my in-law. Mama, thank you very much. Thank you so much. God bless you. God thank bless you. you too, my son-in-law. Thank you, Mama. I want you two to live in harmony. Always pray for whatever you need from God. And be patient to wait for God's time. Because God is never late. Never. It might appear to man that he's late, but his timing is always the best. It's always the best. And when he comes through for you guys with the gift, it will be the best time that you will enjoy it and be happier for it. We thank God for a good day like this. All marriages have good times and some bad times. Do not allow small issues to develop into large issues. Mm -hmm. Yes, marriage life is a lifelong loving relationship between two people. Oh, yes. Please do not allow a third party mm -hmm. to come in between two of yeah. you. No. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Thank you, everybody. Please, let's drink. Let's drink. Yes, there's more. Cheers, Cheers. Yes. I have more drinks. Yes. 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 Thank you, my boy. <laughs> my good in laws. That's my boy. Thank you. 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 Th
Jesus. Love, 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 love,